Huh? Aunt Harriet Smith, Hempstead, Texas, 1941. Now you ask me what you want to ask me about the slaves, you know, back. And uh, I can remember. Well, ain't that about how old are you? Well, I don't know, Mr. Ruffler. You don't know my age on the by the, the children tell me. Of course, my mom died, and she said she didn't know nothing about our age. But the children trace back from the slave up to now. Well, now, how old were you when you were? Well, I was about 13 years old at the break of. Can you I, remember slavery days very well? Of course, I remember all our white folks. And all the names yeah. of them, all the children. Call every one of the children's names. Who, who did you belong to? Jim Bunton, the baby boy. Where was that? Where did you live? That's be? out here in Hayes County. Y'all know. How, yeah. many, how, many, uh, how many slaves did he have? Well, he had my grandma and, uh, and my ma. My ma was the cook. And grandma, you know, and them, they worked in the field. And everything. I remember when she used to plow. I fly, I fly it off to myself. Is that right? I can fly lay off a corner as good as any man. Is that right? Oh, so can. Well, good for you. Stop. Pick cotton. I used to pick one. I've been here since I've been here. The hunter would pick my 500 pounds of cotton. Knock out 500 pounds? Knock out 500 pounds of cotton. Then walk across the field and, and hunt watermelon, plum grain, and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I ain't had, do you remember church times? Yes, know? I remember church times. Uh, I remember how, slavery times. I yes, mean, I they? remember how our folks, they had prayer meeting from one house to another. Uh, the colored folks. Did. Yes. Uh-huh. Thank you. Some people. Yeah. And there were the houses, you know, would be in sections on the house, and there were different places they'd go, and we'd have prayer meetings. More and more, and then go to prayer meetings. And dances, too. And dances, too? Yeah. Paul Ma dancing many times. Is that uh, doing slavery? Yeah, my grandma too. My grandma was named Rachel Proctor. Rachel was, Proctor. Yes, yeah, but she belonged to the Bunny. You know, Rachel Proctor. That's what she went by her husband. And she never knew it. She never knew it back. Now in slavery time, there was my sister, my brother, was slave. And all of them stayed with me and one. One of the girls, and she lives in San Antonio, Adelaide Taylor. Adelaide Taylor. Yeah. She was your sister? Yeah. She's in the young bunch. Sister Ida, and she was the next. Brother George, and Sister Ida, and myself were slaves. And the others were born free. And all of them, we only the two slaves. Well, I was glad. Did you go to meetings? Did you ever go to church? We'd go to prayer meetings, you know. We children to us in the corner, you know. We'd have to cut up too. Is that right? Yes, they'd cast the prayer meetings. Yeah. Well, did you go to the white folks' church any? Yes, I went to Mountain City to the white folks' church many times. See, the white folks would have church in the morning, then they'd let the colored people have church at their church in the evening. That's during slavery time. In slavery time, yeah. Huh. In slavery time. Like we get as well as it's well, what would the preacher preach about in them days? I don't know. I didn't go. He didn't preach about, you know, slaves or something. He didn't yeah. preach like they do today. No, did they? they wasn't educated, you know, and they all ways tell you how to do and how to get along, you know, and how to treat the white people and so on. And they'd read the Bible, them, you know. Yeah, I remember all about in slavery time. Born them used to go to dances. Well, did the treat did the white folks treat you good? Did you? Uh, Out while the buttons? Uh huh. They were good to us. They, they, know, they never hooked none of the colored people. Our colored never people. Did. They take their saddle horse, Miss Buttons' saddle horse, big gray animal. And she'd have them ride. Grandma would ride to Mountain City to church. They had white preachers then. Uh, Mr. Porter, he was one of the preachers. They lived across from us. Well, would the white preachers tell you to behave yourselves and be... Oh, yes. Yeah. Be good to them. your masters? Yes, that's what they preach. We, we didn't know it was in the 16th. 
it is God, and the man of God, you know, we thought that was a, a different man, but he was our master, uh, our white folks, you know, the preachers who was the white folks, master, and so on, and we believe hmm. that way. Oh, no better. <laughs> on, on, then we go up to the churches, and then after they come to be free, you know, they begin to preach it, you know, they begin to know, you know, there was a God, and so on. Well, while you all were slaves, did they teach you to read and write? Did y'all go to school? No, no, no. They didn't know nothing about reading and writing. All that I know, they teach you to mind your master and your mistress. <laughs> they sure didn't teach you to read and write. No, they didn't. You know, pick cotton. I remember picking cotton. Um, well, did you ever hear of any slaves being mistreated? Did, were there any tales going around? Like all the right the years. I know times that mistreated people they did. And, I hear our folks talk, you know, about them hooping, you know, so they had to grease the back to pick the clothes from the, the back. Good law, have mercy. You white folks that way. But them buttons sure didn't lie, they colored people to be whipped. And they halted, they saddle horses. Mrs. Button saddle horse, more and poor and them wanted to go in the hall. They, they rode their horses in the saddle. Mountain City yeah. Church. Mm -hmm. These children stayed home. They couldn't. And from that on then, from one to another, I began to learn Tom Kinchin and the monks that have prayer meeting, you know, from one house to the, you know, out of the house, like there's a house sitting here in that section in line, you know, the people would come to prayer meeting. And in the uh, Sunday, in the evening, the white folks let the preacher, preach, let our folks go to their church preaching. Well, do you remember any of the songs they sang in those days at churches? No, I, I, if I had the books, I could remember them, look, look and see. Well, I know they the sang songs. They sang the song, Are We Born to Die? They'd sing that because... We're Born to Die. Uh, How'd that go, you know? That's why the sticking they come, we hear it. Now, a little louder. Yeah, yeah. Yes. How'd that go? Yeah. They sing, Are We Born to Die? For the sick of the count, are we dead? I was little, I was sitting back. I never went much. We children be stayed at home, parched corn, and play, you know. The children, Ma and Pa and them, the grandmas ride the horses, and about three miles from our home, white folks' home, where they stay, and go to the white folks' there. I used to hear them laugh and tell it all the time, you know. We didn't know anything about freedom at all. The three that that was me and my oldest, next oldest sister, and my brother George. He was uh, they all day. All of them stayed, but just two of them. Well, uh, can you remember when the war was going on? Of course I can. I sat on the fence at the time. Me, and cousin Lou, and cousin Sally, and all of us. Our yard had white picket fence around the road. Went right along by our house, like the road goes along by my house. We sat on that, stood on that picket fence. All day long, seeing them soldiers going back to silent home, different places. They had to put in their blows and bugles. Hmm. And horses would wheel and dance and fall, just like that. What do you know? Colored soldiers. Colored they soldiers? Poor yeah. colored soldiers in drove. That's hmm. right long by our house. Our home is a two-story house, a white folks home, you know. And we stayed on the home until we bought the homes over, over across the creek where we live in Portland. I remember a long time ago you told me about during the big breakup, the soldiers came by and uh, riding horseback. Mm -hmm. And you all were sitting on the fence, you children. Can you remember that? Mm -hmm. Lean this way just a little bit and tell me. Yes, I knew that. The love just sat down all day and looked at them. They played the music, put this music to you, this joy in your life. And so this was, you know, and them horses, they'd sing, you know, and them horses dark and fall on their knees, just like that. A lot of Adam Train. Yeah, Adam Train. Well, what about this girl you told me about there one day? Well, Matt Porter was the one that, uh, long Miss Porter, one of the, our white folks in Navy. And she got her own ground off in molasses meal, feeding molasses meal. 
How was that? How do you mean feeding them molasses? That's putting that cane in there, put the grind out to make them molasses. Oh, yeah, grind yeah. out the juice. Huh? Yeah, juice. They had them wooden, of course, things, you know, mashed the cane with them. And they hitch a mule to it, wouldn't they? Yes, it's awesome. And he'd walk in a circle. Yes, yes, he'd walk in a circle. Kind of like a hay bale. Yes, have a lever to it, you know, and go round and round. Uh -huh. We've made molasses that way. I've made molasses myself. You have. Yeah. Well, now this girl got her arm ground off of molasses. Yes, yeah, feeding the molasses meal. Yeah. Yeah. That was another neighborhood. Well, how yeah. old was she? Oh, she was a great big girl. She was about big enough to feed the meal. About 10, 12 years old, I reckon. Maybe that old. Maybe a little older than that. Molasses for everybody now. That girl had that meal feet. Can't have cane, you know, for every big pile, pile up. Mm -hmm. She had to reach down and get that and put it in between the cork and the grind out. When that grind out, she'd pick up another handful and put it in there. Well, did they have good doctors for them in those days? What, when it ground off her arm, what did they do? I, reckon, I don't know. I guess he carried it his own. I, I remember Dr. Manilov and and uh, Dr. Kavanaugh. I remember them. Well, when the soldiers came by, what, where was she? Who, Matt? Uh -huh. She was on the other side. She lived the other side of us. She was, uh -huh. living, she was living with our white people. But this road went right along by our white people's house. Right. I can go right to there where I was born there. And it was cut right along by the house. It did all day for weeks at the time. The soldiers were traveling going south to San Antonio. They had children stand on the fence and the Oh, they had the prettiest horses and most of us all. Well, now, what, what did those girls, what did this girl, Matt, do? Matt Porter? Uh huh. Well, she she fed the meal. She well, I mean, though, when when the soldiers came by. Why she's on the fence side with us, looking at them. She lives right across from us, you know, and that is the road, and she's. On well, the I road. thought she went off with the soldiers. Or she did. She went off with the soldiers. The soldiers come along. We all sitting on the fence, and I stand at the fence, sitting, and a colored soldier come along and asked her, did she want to go with us? And she said yes. She might as one of them horses. No. Up behind him, huh? No, rode a horse to her side. Is that she right? Was. We could ride horses. We'd jump on them horses. Rattle sometime, ride sometime. We learned how to ride. I could stand flat footed on the ground and jump on the horse sideways. Is that ride, right? Ride, ride, ride. Well, you were riding. Yes, all of us, all of we all were raised to ride horses. Mm -hmm. Paul had horses of his own, chickens of his own. Well, now, what happened to Mac Porter after she and that soldier? Ah, she went on with them. I never did see her in his telephone no more. Mm. She was going towards San Antonio. Going towards San Antonio? Yes, yeah, she was going on with them. Well, why did she? didn't even go tell her mama she was going or anything. She huh? didn't have any mother. Oh, I see. Yeah. And it's all that she'd already been free, had she? Yeah, yeah. That was the time the soldiers was going oh, back, back, you know, after the freedom. Mm -hmm. Right. She'd always come over to our house and stay with us and stay around. Sit down the hall and last, last well, night. can you remember the times right after the after the big breakup very well? Mm -hmm. Remember, were times pretty hard then? Yes, times hard. We wakes then. Our white folks wasn't mean to their colored people. It was different from us. There's seven brothers, brothers. Old Shea Bonham, John Bonham, Bob Bonham. We had one. Kentucky Joe, so on, a whole class of them. Seven brothers of them, I know. Some of them lived at Cedar Creek. More mm, knows them all. Well, what did y'all do after the big breakup? Did y'all leave the place? Or no, stay we there? stayed on the place and rented on the half. Oh, rented on the half. Yeah. That's what I want oh, to say. All our white folks was dead. And the old sea was old. Uh, we loved. I, Tom, I breathe love. This I is my place at Mountain City. Mm -hmm. That's our old old city, over the place, you know. And y'all rented on the halves. Huh? Rented on the halves to we bought our home across the creek. Oh, you bought your home. About yeah. how long after the big breakup did y'all buy oh, your home? Oh, I didn't buy. We didn't buy. Paul bought the home from old Riley across the creek, and we stayed down. And 
I used to stay with Aunt Rose and Uncle George. They was old folks, had no children, you know. They used to get me to come and stay with them. And when I married, they give me a home on the place. Well, were they white folks? No, colored people. Oh, God. Well, how old were you when you married? Well, I don't know. 17, 18 years old. They may be that old. I didn't know my age. Mom, they didn't get a chance. They would be just this day. Who did you marry? Jim Smith. Jim Smith. Had he been a, uh, he, had he been a uh, slave? Oh, he had. He was a slave. After the breakup, they sent him. He come from Blanco and bought a home over across the creek while we bought a home, John and our home. His father and mother did, you know? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh, well, he, he had been freed then, I guess, the uh, uh, same time you had. Oh, yes, yes. They lived at Blanco. They bought them a home over in the colony. Rowley had sold the colored people all the homes there. I don't know. Who's Riley? A white man named Riley lived right down the hill from us. They sold Pete Beard a home and uh, Paul home, Uncle David home. Mm -hmm. all, all of them. Just well, I was glad. Uh, that was right after the big breakup, was it? Mm -hmm. uh, About two, three years after the breakup. Huh. And you just had a colony of... Uh, yes, all of that colony. Of while, we, while I come from, it's got homes out there. That building they call it now. It wasn't nothing but woods when we bought it. And they call it Buda now? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I know where Buda is yeah, out there. Yeah, 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 did you know Mr. Talley in those days? I think I did know Mr. Talley. Huh. Um, what was he? He was a deputy sheriff out for a while. Is that right? Yeah. He was my fine man, too. Yeah. Right. Sure is. And you remember, can you remember churches very well, Aunt Harriet? Were you a church goer? No. We used children then when slavery time. My mother and father, I can remember when they went to church. Uh -huh. Our white folks, they'd ride to go to church in the morning, you know. Mm -hmm. And they'd go in the evening, my grandma, to the white folks' church. Mm -hmm. And mom, they'd ride their horses. Well, now, what do you, when did you start going to church? Oh, yeah, I never started going to church. We never had any church. So, much after I married. Well, and you started going, didn't you? Yeah. After you got I married? Sure. Fine, too. Well, who, who'd you, how'd you marry? Did you have a preacher to marry you? Of course, a white preacher married us. You did? Mm hmm White preacher married all of us girls. Yeah. Well, I didn't have preachers much when I married. Well, who did you, uh, uh, when did you first start going to church then? Well, we'd go to church then. And we had church before. before like, you know, preachers didn't know nothing, you know, on what they hid much. Was he a traveling preacher or yeah. was he just he a colored preacher? Yes, yeah, right? just traveling, you know, and stopping and preach. Elder Haywood and Goins, and so that's our preacher's name. Yeah. Well, what would you preach about? Can you remember? Well, they just preached that we had a God and a soul to be saved and so on. Mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. Did the preacher good as preacher preach today? Oh, no. No, there is no nothing in the honor. Read the Bible sometimes in places they could read with it. No, they were preach wasn't educated at all. They weren't, huh? No honor. Some of them couldn't read and write at all. No, they uh -huh. spelled letters and so on. They read and write at all. Yeah, some of them couldn't read and write at all, just on the priest, what they heard others say, you know. And some of them laughed a bit and older and wiser, you know. Well, what about them. the songs that they sang? That's what I'm interested mm -hmm. in. I didn't go much when they sang them songs. Them, the well, songs did they like sing these old 100s? You know what an old 100 uh -huh. is? Well, these old time songs. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Where they line off one, you know, mm -hmm. must Jesus bear the cross alone and yeah. all the world go free. You yeah. heard that, haven't Yeah, yeah, That's the wind blowing, I think. Mm -hmm. What is speaking to do out there? 
being treated by him. Like, yeah. And then he sang them songs. So I had the old old time books, hymn books. I did. Well, where would you get those books? They had them sell them. Ma and, uh, and Grandma and them bought them, you know. Mm -hmm. And my husband bought them. Was your husband Henry Smith much of a... Jim Smith? Oh, Jim Smith. Mm -hmm. Was he a church man? Yes, he was. What church happened to Church man, church man, a politic man, too. Oh, they were. Y'all voted in those days. Yes, you? my husband was in. He was known by white folks. He was well up so When he got killed, the white folks were just crazy about him. They come to his funeral. That boy that killed my husband, I nursed him when he was a baby. How come he killed you, honey? Well, he just mean, just mean, you know, and he they didn't like people up to date, you know. And of course, it was just 13 months and the different my husband killed his brother. Stole the Killed his husband's brother. Mm -hmm. He'd been to church. I think he went to gym that night to carry bale of cotton. And this Walter Byers sat down on a seat and hold the fast level and sat down talking. And when the time to come his cotton, they killed him, and they killed my brother, my husband, on the way from Seabury. I go right to the spot now, and that's why he was killed. Shot him, or shot cut him? him? Shot him on the way from Seabury. See, we have a cedar break at home. That's mm -hmm. the old home. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm on his way from the Seabury. Mm -hmm. Well, what kind of politicking did he do? Well, he worked for white white people when they wanted to be elected, you know, and the thing, that kind. He'd work amongst the colored amongst folks. Amongst the folks. colored people. And speak to white folks. You couldn't get in the house when he spoke harder for white people. All that section there. He had a good line. Uh, he all of them boys did. And he'd round up the votes, and that's how come them to kill him. Mm -hmm. He'd right? round up when he set the night for the street. People from Austin, from St. Michael, from every which way, white and colored, to hear him speak. He'd go to the courthouse and speak for him. Well, he, uh, did the colored folks not like him? No, the colored people all went to him. These white people, this boy that killed him, who walked by. I nursed him when he was a baby before I was ever acquainted with my husband. Well, what I was, what I'm trying to, to find out is, how come him to kill your husband? Was it over politics? Oh, politics and different things, you know. Poor white people. Did the white folks have your husband killed, or did uh, did he just walk by and just go shoot? No, him my husband car? went to see the break that day, and uh, and he, on his way back from the see the break, uh, he laid away the road and killed him. I don't know how that is done, but the white people, Walter Cries, and them was the first one got to him when he was killed. They had the shooting, you know. And they brought the news to us. My brother and them. What they do to Walter Biles? Well, you know how that was. He lived up in there, you know. They'd tell any kind of tale. They didn't do nothing. They didn't have him up, put him in jail by them. Mm -hmm. But his brother-in-law killed him. Is that right? Sure. They must have been a shooting a lot of folk up in that mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. people, poor people, you know. Rich white people don't bother nobody. Or oh, poor white folks. Yes, yeah, it was poor. And they come now. And his brother-in-law, Sid Lawson, killed mm -hmm. him. Sid, his father, moved away. He had a good home over there. And they moved away. He said they'd steal his life just like they stole Bud and Jim. So and his boy's life, so he left and went to Oklahoma. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, his brother-in-law killed him. He rolled up the fence that morning to kill his brother-in-law. And his brother-in-law shot him instead? Yeah, his mother tried to keep him from killing him, but he just said, I ain't gonna let him kill me like he did Uncle Jim. You know, with him and my boys all raised together. You know. almost all been kin folks in those days. Hurt. Well, all of you seem to have been uh, Walter Biles and all. No, they're white people. 
Oh, what about what, what, what about that old poor white person? I'm all right. I'm go right to the place now. Why he's born? Oh, I didn't know he was a white man. Yes, he was. Well, why do you reckon he wanted to shoot your? Yes, that's because he didn't like him. Because our boys as well learned, and they did have speakings, you know, at the schoolhouse, you know, for white folks that want to run for office or something. And so, yeah. Did you raise many, uh, did white folks, uh, poor white trash and the colored folks have many fights back in the, after the big breakup? Have many run-ins? No, we never had nothing to run into. <laughs> but wagging. Well, I mean, did they have many, uh, you know, quarrels and uh, fusses? No, no, they didn't have these white, these buyers that had killed our white, our, our boys, my husband and his brother was poor white people. They didn't like and let me see how that did come up. I don't forgot dying at all about the record. I know my husband was on his way from the Cedarbury. Mm -hmm. Well did the white folks meddle, did the poor white trash meddle much with the colored girls in those no, days? Not all right at all. Hmm. I don't know where they did it out of the place. Well I did I didn't mean to your home, I mean around though did you hear of any anything like that going on in those days? Well, the girls, we didn't run. She had the different classes, you know. Girls, uh -huh. run, colored girls run the white boys, and white boys, a couple boys at night, but we didn't associate. Well, did much of that go on in those days? It's very little of it. It's going on more now than it did in my raising up days. Is that right? Yes, sir. Well, I, I think there's a lot of it going on. Yes, they, 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 we didn't go with them. They didn't associate with their kind. No, it's going on more now than it did in my race. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, that little John Jr. across the street from you looks, he's got almost blonde hair. Yeah. His hair's white. Mm hmm his mama, yes, his, his mama, Miss Fanny, is his grandma. Mm -hmm. yeah. Miss Fanny's son, Pete. Morris is, is his father, her oldest son. Well, her name Bell, though. I don't care. Her name is, is her name Fanny Bell. But she married a Bell, but Bell wasn't East Children's father. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Morris was East Children's father. Well, now, who was your second husband, ain't eh, Who's my second husband? Let me see, who was my second husband? Old you man. married again after uh, uh, your, what's old his name, man. Smith? Old man, uh, oh, I married Bolson Sard, was my second husband. Bolson Sard? Yeah. And, uh, How long did you live with him? Well, about a year or two years. He, oh. he had a good either engine blood in him. He did? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then my next husband was old man. Well, now, what happened to Bolton Sorrels? He died, or did you divorce him? He, he wouldn't sign the divorce, but I got my divorce from him just the same. You did? He, he, you know, he, didn't, he, he lived a long time after, after me and him married. Well, after, after you separated from him, who did you marry? Oh, man, Purcell. What's his name? Old man Purcell. Uh, how old was he? Oh, he's a lady, but he's older than I was. His wife. Yeah, I, that was his second wife that he married. Well, I, didn't y'all have trouble? Didn't you and he have a little trouble? Who? You and old man Purcell. Didn't he kind of cut up and carry on? Yes. He cut up and carry on. I quit him. Come on back home. Mm -hmm. Did Daddy get you at the door? Mm-hmm. What was well, the matter with him? Old man Purcell was all right, his wife, but his son, that's why we had to with Arthur. He come to command the place, you know, tried to put me on the place. He couldn't do it. I stayed down as long as I wanted, and I got ready. I come on home. And then who did you marry? Uh, let me see who 
Who was the last man I met? Old man Coco here. Old man Coco. Mm -hmm. Well, didn't you and he, didn't he try to whip you one time? Yeah, he couldn't whip me. Speak a little louder in here. No, he couldn't whip me. He tried, but he couldn't. And what, what'd you do to him? <laughs> Put him out of the door. Well, he was about 100 years old, wasn't he, at that time? I don't know how old he was. He was in the Army. In the Civil War? Yes. He fought in the... Yes, he in fought the... in the Civil War. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you married him in 1930s, didn't you? Uh -huh. In 1930s. Yes. Well, see, I'd make him... I'd make him close to a hundred anyhow. Yes, but you see, you know, there's other parties between him, me and him, that's a cause of our trouble. Is that right? Yeah. Is this F over here? Was he yeah. running? Was he chasing girls over yeah. here? Yeah. He was. Yeah. He yeah. just could hobble around. He could hobble around. They was chasing him for his money, you know. Oh, I see. He got, uh, see, he got, he, uh, when he quit the... Uh, Oh, got old, you know. He got his his money from the army. Well, the girls uh, uh, must have made a fool out of him. Yes, he did. He got his money, all his money. He got sixty or seventy dollars a month every month. Hmm. Yeah. Well, do you still go to church in here? Yes, I go to church all the time in there. I go to church up the Methodist Church up the oh, Saint up Annie. At Saint Annie. Yes, I joined that church after I come here. We built that church. We built that uh, church. Who's your preacher up there? I have never met him. No. This, this we got a new preacher, you know. Uh -huh. I forget his name. Me and Judith belongs to that church up there. Is he a good preacher? I know that. I have to do what sort of preacher he is. The Sunday I was preparing to go to the church, some of the folks from St. Margaret's come, and I didn't go. Well, what do you think about Reverend Reese as a preacher? Well, Reverend Reese, he's a uh, good but Reverend Reese is Miss Fanny's preacher. Mm -hmm. No, but a friend of Will Baptist. Yeah, he's just a good friend of mine. I just wonder yes, how you like Yes, he's just him. I like him fine. He's been to my house. He has, yeah. yeah. He yeah. thinks a lot of you, too. Yes, he's been to my house. I like him fine. Time. Ain't Aaron, what, how has times changed since you uh, came to Austin? Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know. Times changed. We've had churches, different things. Did you ever think you'd live to see the automobile? No. I never did think I'd ever live to see the automobile. <laughs> that I heard talk of them. I heard my husband talk to him. He went north with a herd of bees for some white folks, and he seen him out there. Is that right? He was a cowboy. Well, which husband was that? That's a Jim Smith, my first husband, all these children's father. Oh, he saw he saw automobiles then when he went up with yeah, the herd of cattle. Yes, and he'd come by and say, I saw these airplanes and things. Is that right? He came back and told you about yeah, it? Yes, we didn't know it was more. Well, oh, he was killed before the turn of the century, before 1900, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. He's killed 1901. 1901. But he had been up north with a herd of bees, you know, for cattle. For Who did he work for? Well, he worked for different people. Uh, wait, we worked for ourselves, then we bought a home of our own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, right there. You, you plowed in the field, had you? Sure, I reckon I did. I could chop cotton, plant. I could drop corn this place. I walk that way. Grandma, too. Yeah. Plow oxen. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's the name of your oxen, do you remember? Oh, I've got the one of them named Jerry and the other named Broad. And name what? Broad. Jerry and Broad. Mm -hmm. Yes, you pop them hooks and them oxen and go around there and plow. Yes, I, I don't know if my children. Ever seen any oxen? Hmm. Celia Black, Tyler, Texas, nineteen seventy four. The following is an interview by Elmer Sparks with Celia Black, former slave of Tyler, Texas. This being October the 11th, 
1974, many years have passed since Mrs. Black first arrived in this world on September the 10th, 1859. I'd just like to ask you a few questions about your early life and yes. uh, the, how about from the time you were born and we were schooling and you go ahead and tell what you might and we might ask you a few more questions. Oh, I had my birthday. My birthday, I had a, a nice time. I had a nice time. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. <laughs> all the good, nice white people were there and the president was there and he, his wife and shook hands with me and just, I don't know. I just enjoyed it. I did. I enjoyed it with so many people there. Oh, and I didn't think it if I had the, oh, I had, had, the, had the name to be a, 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 a they did they recognize nothing but the glow on the hair. I didn't ever think I'd be the recognize nothing to glow on the hair. Well, I've always held that been a woman to count myself. And in a way, it's white and colored both of them and care for all me. But if I, my color of white is cold for me, they do anything and have anything to do with them. I was always very lady, lady, clean, kept myself clean, and I always tried to teach them nice, and I was good to them, I was good to the children, and I, I just couldn't be no better than I was. And I can't, I didn't care when they called for me to do anything. I like that lady to do it. I'm going to try to do what I could if I know. So that's the way I came myself. And that's, I'm so proud to know that I've been recognized enough to, to care for me. Oh, and in Texas, and in the United States. I'm so his father knew it was kid is I'm kid for her in the United States. Oh, oh I don't know poor old now colored woman down and can't help myself. If I was up for well, I could go could help, I'd always be ready. I'd be ready. I'd be ready to help. Oh, God, it's who I put what I cover. I do this to help. So I'm down there in the king, but I got a good desire. I got a good mind. Oh, to be content, to contend at home, trying to do what I can by the help of the Lord. If I can't do, if I can't do, I can speak well. I can speak well. Oh, it's trying to help. Oh, as I can speak well, it's trying to help. Oh, in my speech, and I trust my Heavenly Father that I can be honored enough to keep my, oh, to keep my reputation up. As long as the good Lord in heaven let me spare me. As long as he spare me. Well I, you're you're speaking of your of your celebration celebration. Do you remember anything about your folks are talking about in the back when you were born and and that days? Just do what? That back at uh, your mother telling about from the time you were born and where you were born at? Born. Yes. I don't understand. Celia, Man. tell him about when you were a little baby and a little girl. Oh, when I was a baby, oh, like I couldn't remember nothing. I couldn't remember nothing when I was a baby. No, sir. You remember your mother talking about it, don't you? It's, uh, 
Mama? No. You remember when you tell them that when they when you was uh, you know, when you was uh, baby girl when you used to ride the oxen and things? Yeah. When my grandfather had some big old oxen. He had one little big one white horn. Oh, it looked like a house. <laughs> Wide homes and, and and I used to set up there and t train them homes. And then his name was Coley. His name was Coley, and the other one was named Lip. Oh, and Grandpa then died in the church. He didn't care where he went. He and, and put us children in the. And then a little old ox wagon and calf on the chest that's as big as he was in the in a, in a cage. Oh. And, and I'd get up there and old and 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 old Coley, teen and old Coley's home and sit up there. Sit up there just as big as I was sitting in the house. Oh. But the funniest of it my grandfather went to went to <coughs> to lumber, wanted to get some lumber and had to go across the river. <laughs> and then the summertime in June and the the, the old oxen got hot. They got hot. Oh, and, when they didn't know this thing, <laughs> Grandpa <laughs> know this thing. Them old oxen them run off and run off in the river with us, with us, with with us, with us, with us, and and I stayed up there and they were called old Cody's home, uh, home. Get up and no call his home. Oh, he's waving through the water, and I sat nothing there. I stayed in there too. I hear to his homes. I hear to his homes. I didn't fall off in the river. I hear. I'm telling you, I hear the truth. Yes, I did. Oh, oh, my God, Paul was just a hook no. Get my lip, get them my dad or ill, and we was <laughs> and the old calling and lip was coming through. They come out too. Yes, they did. See oh. Oh. Tell him about when you were born in Miss Clay's bed. I did. I was born upon a rich white woman. I still was. <coughs> She wasn't no poor woman. No, she wasn't. Her husband was living then. Oh, no, she wasn't no poor woman. My, she, she brought my mother here from South over on the other in this country. She brought my mother here in Texas when she was young. My mother was young, she wasn't gone. Oh, she brought her here. Oh, laid up, said she didn't get gone. Oh, with her, with her children. Oh, well, my pa, my father, that, they hired him to her. So his man was named Mr. Robinson. Mr. Robinson was a white man, and Papa, Papa was a <coughs> boy, and he did. Mr. Cray was was uh, got hiding to be a yard boy when Mama she was a Miss Cray yard. Yeah. I let the house go last week. I was just trying to ask you to go up. I bless your soul. Mom, Papa and Mama got, got together somehow. I don't know how they got together. But anyhow, my, my Papa 
woman, Mrs. Cray had that. My father did a yard for him. He stayed there till he was a grown young man, too, with Miss Clay. Right her in her yard, her house, her yard, and her horses. Oh. And you were born in, in uh, Miss Clay then? Uh, were you born in, in Miss Clay? I was born like a, behind Miss Clay. Uh, I, on a Tuesday morning, my mother said, my mother said to me, on a Tuesday morning, my, I was born right behind Miss Curry in her bed. She all, my mother always slept with Miss Clay when she was young, young before she married. And Miss Clay, after she married, my papa, Miss Clay wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't grieve him. My papa would take her away from there, no? She wouldn't. She wouldn't grieve her to put her and take her away from there. Oh, oh. And them days, them days, the white people had control over the, over, they had a, 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 a color help them. They wouldn't have a big grief for you to take them away from them. Then uh, my, they crazy, but my mother to this country, she wouldn't let me, wouldn't, wouldn't let nobody take, take away from that. She raised her there with, with her children, with her children. She raised them there with her body and good. She didn't have but one good. Oh, but she had five or six boys. She had, had, she had five boys. Miss Clay did. Oh, but Mama was just the only one, one, only one. And 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 Miss Clay girl, she didn't have but one girl, and and she was a little. She was little. She wasn't a big girl. Oh, oh, but she stayed there till she, till she got to be a young missus. Oh, with, with, with mama, with mama, and then uh, she grew up to be near by gone. For she, oh, I ever think about trying to get it out amongst her boys. Mom, you remember Abraham Lincoln? Oh, ma'am. You remember Abraham Lincoln? Who? Abraham Lincoln. You know, I hear my mother talk about him and fa my father, but I never did know him. I didn't never know him myself, but I hear them talking about him all the time. What did they say about President Lincoln? Oh, well, they, they gave him a good name. They gave him a good name. And, uh, and President Hall, oh, oh, they, they give him a, oh, put a good name. They give him a put a good name. There's another one I know, but I don't forgot it. Forgot his name. I did. Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. That's it. Oh. Oh, Abraham Lincoln, they thought Abraham was, was a, this, they thought, everybody thought Abraham was the best president the world. They thought he was the best, best. Oh. And did you uh, do any uh, picking geese or for feather beds and things like that in them days? Did I have any? Did I you? wasn't nothing but a kid. I didn't, didn't have sense enough to think like I ain't got now. I didn't have sense to think nothing but just a play and with children. I didn't know nothing about them. Not a you didn't have to pick cotton or nothing? No, no, so I didn't. Oh. Oh, nothing I can tell me it's crazy, it me up to be a young missus 
the young missus that's only time I know them saying about the company. And, and, you then, had and then my papa had this, oh man, uh, but Miss Clay didn't want him to have her then. Didn't want him to marry her then. Mom, he said he could ever pick didn't cotton. Marry, didn't marry, Celia, marry. did you ever pick cotton out in the fields? Pick cotton? Uh -huh. Oh, good gracious of life. It kind of raised him to see the last time that Miss Clay left, got, got my mom. I raised him to see the last time I go up and got away from Miss Clay. Oh, I've been doing nothing but work in the field. Work in the field, oh goodness. I don't know. The goodness, every year I go and I said, go on the Grew up and got to be married mom to, to work for myself. We go, my me and my husband would go, I'd, I'd wear some pick cotton. Pick cotton. Go out west every year. We been this year going out there picking cotton. Well, that was hard work. Didn't you have some entertainment doing any dancing or anything? Ah. Uh, did you dance, dance did you, Mom? When you were young? Man. Did you dance? Dance? Yeah. Oh, I used to dance, but I don't do it now. No, I don't dance now. I try my best to serve my master. I'm trying my best to serve my head. Hit me far. I'm trying my best to serve God. Oh, I, ain't, I don't study about no man. Don't dance with man. He wants to know, Mama, you danced in your young days. Oh, in my young days? Yeah. Oh, I went to ball for I was young. Oh, when I was young, I went to dancing. I didn't tell, I ain't going to tell no wife. I thought I went to dancing when I was young. Oh, Mom. Celia, ma'am, do you remember going to town when you were young? Were there any big buildings back then? Oh, big buildings, Mama. When you went to town when you were young, were the streets dirt? When did you go to town in a wagon when you were a young girl? I don't know. Mom, you know you used to tell us you used to go to town in the wagon. Oh, 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 I used to go in the in horse wagon. I thought you was talking about something else. Oh, yeah, we used to go in the wagon. Celia, huh? did you ever see a stagecoach? Ever see what? A stagecoach. A stagecoach, where the people rode in the stagecoach and the horses pulled them. Did you ever yes, see one? Yes, I did. You call them and say a funny name that I didn't know, know what you're talking about. What did you call them? I call them horses. Horses. Mules and horses. Mules and horses. That's what they, well, my, my grandpa called them. Horses and horses. What, what oh. did Mr. and Miss Clay ride in when they would go somewhere? But, in a, in a cage, what you call it? Cage. Cage. She knows cage. Yeah. yeah. She called it a cage. It's what the, what the, what's crazy down there. It's in a big old s s thing look like a, um, <laughs> look like a car. Look like a car. Did you hear anything about the, uh, uh, Indians at that day when you were young and the things that they did? The Indians? No, 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 no. Tell about Indians, Mama, the uh, Indian people. The people. Oh, I had seen them, but I didn't know them. I yeah. seen them, but I didn't know nothing about them. No, yeah. they, I never did get in the country, no, no country with them. With, with them, I never did. Oh. Well, the Indians are pretty well gone at that time down here, I think. 
but not farther north. Mm -hmm. Is there uh, anything else you think it ought to be put there? This, what have you done? Well, we thank you anyway, oh. and uh, we sure hope you have a <coughs> and more birthdays. Well. And we're from up in the Panhandle, so we'll be thinking of you. Yeah. So we'll be thinking of you. God bless you. Mm. <coughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, Miss. I hope to meet you again. Yeah, if we don't meet in this, this world, I hope we'll meet in the other world. Laura Smalley, Hempstead, Texas, 1941. Tend to all the children. Tend to the children. Just like, you know, you bring a whole lot of children, you know, and put them down, you know, in one house. But well, somebody has to look over them, you know, and tend to them that way. Just a house full of little children. And if one act bad, you know, they'd whoop him. They'd whoop him too, the old woman. And if the old woman didn't tend to the children, they'd whoop, they'd whoop her too. You know, to make her tend to the children, she wasn't doing nothing. Well, she wasn't a cryptic woman like me, you know. She wasn't no cryptic woman satisfied. She wasn't no cryptic woman like me. And they'd whoop her. And they had trays. I don't know where you see the tray. Wooden trays dug out, you know, all about that, that long. And all of them, you know, would get around that tree with spoons and just eat. I can make like that because I ate out of the tree. Mm. With spoons, you know, and eat, such as like mush or soup or something like that. Would feed them, you know, before 12 o'clock. And all them children get around there and just eat, 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 eat out of that. Thing. And that old woman, you know, she would tend to her. Her name Aunt Tishy. Yeah, I know it. Uh, old woman, name Aunt Tishy. And just she, like slopping hogs. Or, just like a tray, you know, just like a tray, you know, you'd have. It's made just like a hog pit, hog trough, you know. Hmm. And, and uh, close, you know, they'd wash them things and scald them out for the children. I didn't see them scald them, but that's what they told me they'd scald them out, you know, mm -hmm. the children. And uh, them children eat out of that, that, that thing and just with spoon and one, if one reach his spoon over in the other's hand, over in the other's plate, he got hit him. Hit him, you know, and knock that, knock that uh, spoon back, you know, on his side, on his side. And that was when we were chilling, you know. Wasn't able to tend to, tend to no other children. I had a brother, though, he could tend to children. And, uh, you know, just sit him down in a corner and put this child, you know how little children, put this child between his legs and then hug his hand around his child, that's where he nursed him. Couldn't stand up with him, couldn't, you know, just enough to, you know, shake him this way in the arm. Mm -hmm. I, I can remember that. I had a brother named Wright. And he just shake that child, set him in the floor. And he was too little to pick him up. Yes, yeah, sir. And if that child kicked much, he'd fall, kick him over too, you know, and the old woman come down, spank him, and get the child back in his arm. <laughs> and they had certain times to come to them children. I think about this like a cow, I said, would go to the cave, you know. Uh -huh. You know, they had certain time, you no know, cow come to his cave in, in, at night. Well, they come at 10 o'clock, every day at 10 o'clock to all them babies. Them what nurse, you know. Uh -huh. Them what didn't nurse, they didn't come to them at all. The old lady fed them. Them wasn't big, wasn't big enough to eat, you know. She, the, the old mother had time, you know, to come. When that horn blowed, they blow the horn for their mothers, you know. They just come just like cows. It's a funny, you know, coming to the children. Yeah, yeah. Out of the field. How long out did the they field. nurse the baby? Ma'am. A couple of years? How long would they nurse the baby? Until it was big enough to walk, I guess. Yeah, some about nine months or something like that, you know. Uh -huh. They didn't nurse until it get big enough, you know, to eat. Uh -huh. To get eat. And they'd come to, come to every time, come down and uh, nurse that baby at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock in the day. day. Yes, ma'am. Ten o'clock in the day and three o'clock in the day. They twice come to that baby and nurse it. Yes, and twice a day. Come there and nurse that baby. He couldn't eat, you know. Mm -hmm. But if one could eat, he wouldn't come till dinner time. But one little one what couldn't eat, they'd come to it. That old woman had a time in there slopping them children. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. And I knew that. 
And I remember, you see a scar up in my forehead? Mm -hmm. Tower scar. Yeah, uh -huh. I was, I had slipped out and uh, some boys was throwing and knocked the scar in, in uh, my head and I was little. Uh, it's way up here. Yes, it's right sir. underneath your hairline. Yes, uh -huh. sir. When I was yeah. little. Slipping over out the uh, old woman's slop room. <laughs> I call it. Because you know that hurt your fetus. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. And that scar called the boy threw the rock and hit me here. And when, when, when uh, I was a uh, young, you know, and hit me, and I was little, coming on out there, I call it the old lady's slop room. Mm. It wasn't a slop room, but to the house, you know, where it fed all the children. I call that a slop room, where it <laughs> fed all the children. Uh, who did the cooking for the plantation? I don't know what the old woman's name done the, the cooking. Uh, Miss Clement did tell me here not long ago who done the main cooking. You know, they didn't cook cook in the uh, kitchen like here. They have an off, off kitchen, off yeah, from the outside, house. Uh -huh. Yes, um, and then pack the village, you know, to the kitchen. Uh -huh. Pack it to the kitchen. They didn't have, they weren't cooking in the in the kitchen, dining room. I was a great big girl when I know uh, Miss Ben and them had a, had a kitchen and a dining room mixed together. I was a big old girl. Mm -hmm. They cooked it on outside. Uh -huh. Right in the yard, but you no, know, they cooked it out, out there and then brought it to the house. Brought it, brought it to their kitchen when I was a child. Well, they had some of the some of the slaves who worked in the house and then some who worked on the yard, isn't that right? No, they, they, uh, them waking in the yard, men waking in the yard some nights, but them there what, what wake in the kitchen, they didn't have nothing to do in, in the yard. And they had yeah. one, shh, 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 one, you know, to make up beds. Mm -hmm. Had one to make up beds, you know, and one to cook. And then they go, had such a time to make up bed, and then they go to feel. And then had a regular nurse, you know. Nurse, you never just seen old mister with the baby, never no time. They had a regular nurse. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, you'd hire somebody to nurse, but be a grown woman nurse, tend that baby. And they keep them kids never did never did care to old Mister that was hungry night or day. Now that was hungry. They cared that too. He tended that baby. That baby slept with the old nurses no. Hmm. Yes, I slept with them. Didn't have nothing to do. Care that baby and, and uh, sit there until uh he till uh, hit nurse, and then after the nurse, you know, then you cared back tend to it. You didn't have to. This, she tend to it, you know, and give it to you. You get, give it to her and nurse it, get how cold it is, and you carry that baby back on in that baby, that room where you was. Hmm. And I know well, did the mistress nurse the baby, or did she have yeah. She She nursed from the breast. Uh -huh. But see, she she nursed this baby, that that hit to be hungry. Well, they here, nurse would bring it to her and let her nurse it. And then when she nursed, she'd hand right back, night or day, you know. And tend that baby night and day, hand it back to her. And if that baby's any kind of sick, that nurse had to sit up there at night and tend to it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, well, more than huh? man. No, no. Well, you see, that's done now, my dear. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's right. It's not done now, my dear. Yeah. Well, my niece, uh, granddaughter here, she take care of baby, and his mother hardly ever take it. And he said, you know, this ain't slave time. <laughs> and she yeah, never do hardly ever right. take it. Women yes, sir. Don't, don't tend to. No, uh, don't tend to. Well, do you ever remember any of the slaves being sold? Do you remember any slave sellers? You know, men that would just buy and sell. Slaves? No, sir. I never did see it. I never. I sure never did know that. You know, we hear talk of it, but then I ring that was after, after slave. I ring. We hear talk of it. I, you see them talk about you know putting them on stumps, you know, or something high, you know, and beating them off like you did cattle. Hmm. Bit them off like they did cattle. Well, none of your folks were ever sold then? No, sir. None of them never were sold. You were born right there and never did leave? You were? Born right there and stayed there until I was about nine, ten years old, maybe even more. Stayed mm -hmm. right there. We didn't know where to go. Mm -hmm. Mom and them didn't know where to go. You see, after freedom broke, just turned, just like he turned something out, you know. Didn't know where to go. That's like just where they stayed. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. right. Didn't know where to go. Turn us out just like you know you turn out cattle. <laughs> I say, anywhere to go. Do you remember when the Civil War was being fought? 
Well, I, I can't remember much about it, but I remember this much. When uh, Mr. Bethany was gone a long time, looked like a long, long time, and I remember all the next morning, it, when he, he got up, now don't, get, don't knock that back there. Well, uh, he, he uh, we all got up and all of them went to the house, went to the house to see old master. And I thought old master was dead, but wasn't he had been off to the war and uh, come back. But then I didn't know, you know, into the war. I just didn't know it was gone a long time. All the niggas gathered around to see old master again. You know, and old master didn't tell you, you know, it was free. He didn't tell you that? Uh, no, he didn't tell. They wait till, I think now they said they wait till six months out of that. Six months. And turned them loose on the 19th of June. That's why, you know, you celebrate that day, colors mm -hmm. folks. Celebrate that day. Celebrate that day. Miss Adeline, our missus, you know, and just catch the by our wrist. This way, you know, both of them pushed down in the rocking chair. And when she, Mr. Bethany come home, she was crying. And Mr. Bethany asked her what was the matter, you know. She told Miss Adeline, Miss uh, and Martha Albert hurt her, hurt her wrist. And uh, she, she asked her then, says, well, what you doing in this house here? Hurt no mister. Said she wasn't hurt no mister. She just old oh, mister around hoping she saw her down. But I think that old woman, poor old woman, cat in the peach orchard and whipped her. And you know, just tied her hand this way, you know, around the peach orchard tree. I remember that just as well. Looked like to me, I can't. And round the tree and whipped her. And well, she couldn't do nothing but just kick her feet, you know, just kick her feet. But it, it just had her clothes off down to her waist, you know. They didn't have a plum naked, but they had a clothes down to her waist. And every now and then they'd whoop her, you know, and then snuff the pipe out on her, you know. She snuffed the pipe out on her. You know, the them was in the pipe. I don't know you ever see the pipe smoking. Blow them out on her? Mm hmm Good Lord, have mm -hmm. mercy. Blow them out on her. Did she scream? Yeah, I reckon she was. I reckon she did. But you see, the we, we was dead to go out there where it was, you know, because, uh, our old Marshall with whoopers and then Uncle Saul. Uncle Saul with whoopers. You see that an overseer Uncle Saul. Her papa was overseer. But he had a whooper. And whooped her too. And he showed his whooper. Well, he, uh, he uh, whooped her soul then at night. They had to grease her back. Grease her back. I don't know what kind of grease they had, but they showed grease her back. At night, you know, that way. He just grease her back. And, uh, so after they whooped her so long, so whooped her then so long that way, they quit. They quitting. Give her her dinner. Late that evening, they give her her dinner. They lay that and watch her so whooped so bad then, you know, she didn't want to eat, you know. If you put, put, put whoop you half a day, you ain't want to eat. You know, <laughs> oh, no. That's right. Call a little child, you can whoop a little child now. He'll get mad, you know, and don't want to eat nothing. So they get the whoop. So I'm the saw, then he'll, he'll go whoop my mama. We had a brother, the oldest brother named Cal, and he was going to whoop my, my mother's boy, Pack Water. And she was going to fight him. Is <laughs> she, that right? Yes, yeah, she was going to fight him. You see, one portion of the people belonged to Mr. Bethany, and one portion, you know, belonged to, belonged to his wife. Wife, you know, just like, you know, you'd have a lot of niggas, you know, and they give you portion of them, and your wife portion of them. Her people give you people. P heap of them, and then your people give you some. Well, that makes two parts. You got part, and your wife got a part, you know, of colored folks out of way. And so Miss Adeline wouldn't let my let uh, Uncle Saul whoop her. That was her side, you know, that's one of her niggas. She wouldn't let Uncle Saul whoop her that way. Well, then they called her a sassy nigga. Sassy call wouldn't let Uncle Saul whoop her. About the boy packing water. You know, he packed water, you know. All day, and if Uncle Saul, if they stayed late, you know, and when they got to the water where Uncle Saul was, the overseer was, he just pitch it out. Just pitch it out. As fast as the children could get to him. And he whooped them if they let them. Oh. Yes, he whooped them if they let him. Now, and, uh, and, and, uh, so, Uncle Desi, you know, he was, stepdad, he wasn't, wasn't, uh, he wasn't, no, he wasn't, no, he wasn't, he he wasn't born. He wasn't. He wasn't one of Mr. Bethany's niggas. 
he was a pig. My old stepdad, yes, yeah, but he was a pig. Yeah, he was a pig. And uh, he'd do anything, you know, he he would do, couldn't whoop him. Uh uh, couldn't whoop him. And his head, his head was red and he was red. Well, where did he come from? Well, I think he come from like, Louisiana, somewhere. Anyhow, he come somewhere. I couldn't exactly tell where he come from. Cause my mama come from Mississippi. And uh, when he, he, he back up, you know, I don't know where y'all ever see the corner fence. Yes, the one that's rail fence. Yes, sir, yes. Sir. Yeah. Well, he back up in that and they wouldn't, they wouldn't whoop him. He'd get him a stick and keep him off. Yes, sir. And uh, he's a great big old man, you know, and they, he wouldn't let him whoop him, you see. And, and the monster wouldn't let him hug him because he wouldn't let the, the, uh, the you know, the uh, overseer know they'd whoop you. The monster would make him whoop you when the overseer didn't feed him. And they wouldn't let him whoop him at all, wouldn't know. And the, the old monster would tell him, rather than to kill him or something like that, don't hurt him. But no, don't kill him, you know, but whoop him. He wouldn't whoop him, I tell you. No, he wouldn't whoop him. <laughs> no, sir, he wouldn't well, whoop how him. Would they, how would they punish him then? Give me a corn. <laughs> give me a corn. Just like you know, uh, you you give me a year of corn, and uh, that'll be for my my dinner or my breakfast. When you come home to dinner, he said to give me a year of corn. So he shared it off and plow along and eat it. Just plow along and eat it. Night come, they give me a year of corn, and uh, that's the way they fed him. You know, punishing him. You know, we give him nothing to eat. And say, look like he's moving along too slow, too fast with that, you know, too good. <laughs> too good with that, you know, just giving him corn. And he's eating it, you know, and drinking water and going just the same. That's so they wouldn't give him none. Give him none. Mm. Wouldn't give him nothing, you know, but let him drink water, you know. And uh, he lived just the same. And he, and he lived with Mama 30, 32 years before he died. Oh, he died, and he, and he never did have a scar on the, the, the old boss put on him. Wonder what they paid for this, this so your stepdaddy? How come? The uh, pain, you know, the, 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 he was a pain. Just a prey, Britain was what he called. But you see, I don't know what they paid for him. They bought him, you know. And I guess he was worth so much they didn't want to hurt him. Didn't want to hurt him. And um. Uh, it, you see, he had belonged to two, two, two sets of folks, two sets of people, you know. You see, he, he, he was belonged to a pain, then he belonged to, to some people, you know, brim, but they all stayed, but they, you see, he wouldn't, wouldn't do right, and they'd sell him. Just sell him, you know, just like, you know, I was your nigga, you know, and I wouldn't act right, you'd sell me somebody else, and wouldn't act right, rather than be fighting and knocking a good hand, you'd sell him somebody else. That's what that would do here, baby. I see. That's what he'd done. Well, what about getting married? How did they go about marrying the slave? Well, they told me they jumped over the broom backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They told me to jump over the broom backwards. I don't know. Well, did they have church? Did the slave no, have church? No, I, I never remember no church. Mama said the only church, I didn't remember that part of all the church that would have been a tub, tub of water sitting just like this thing is, you know, and that would catch your voice. And they would, they would have chase around that tub, all of them get around the tub, get around the tub. Oh, Moss didn't want them having church. They don't have no church. No, they didn't have no church. And uh, old Moss would come along with one of them. One of them was, uh, was there having church around the tub, and he's down praying. And said he was down there praying, just a praying. Old Moss would come in, he just a praying. He come in, he did, and told him, get up from there. He didn't get up, he just up praying. He said, the old master come in, so whoop me. He quit praying and then asked the Lord, have mercy on the old master. Lord, have mercy on the old master. Lord, have mercy on the old master. He said, oh, always with a bull hook. He said, oh, have mercy on the old master. And that old master whooped him in the camp and wouldn't get up, you know, just flinch, you know, just like the person, you know, the person hit you, you know, flinch. He just prayed for the old master. The old Marshal stepped back and said, I'm great mind to kick you naked. I'm great mind to kick you naked. The nigga never stop praying, you know, he had to he go off and leave and pray. Hmm. He go off and leave and pray. Because he wouldn't stop. Well, that was through the Lord, you know, that caused that. 
Yeah, well, the Lord, Lord works a lot of things. Yes, of course. The Lord will uh, suffer him to stay down there and get that whooping and pray. You know, just keep her praying. And I think I jumped up. I don't know. She like me, I jumped up. Go ahead, whooping me that way. I jumped up. I, I, I don't know about the church when it first started up no more than, you know, uh, when I was a child, you know, they didn't have no church, you know, in no house, you know, they had in the trees. On the trees, on the trees, yes, ma'am, on the trees. Brush arbors. Yes, sir. Some that didn't have no brush arbors, they just had it on the tree. You see, just had it on the tree. And I don't know, you know, the cause of the churches and when they started. But I know when Mom and them used to go to church with all the trees, you know, up under, under the trees. Didn't, didn't, didn't have no church houses much then. Just like, you know, you get a big old tree and clean all out from under it and make a dry stalk down, you know, and make benches on it, you know, that would have church. And well, what kind of songs did they sing? Do you remember the names of any of the songs? No, I can't, I can't remember. I can't, you know, I can't read. I never remember the song, but they didn't sing song like the song now. You know, they sing them old songs. You know about Mary and Grace, how sweet it sounds. You know all like that. But you know, I can't recollect all of them. I can't recollect them since I've been grown. Well, I <laughs> no, sir, can't recollect them. That's what most of sung, Mary and Grace, how sweet it sounds. You know, all like that. And uh, I don't know hardly all of them old songs. Sometimes I can bring all them old songs up, and then again I can't. Well, you ever hear one called uh, Couldn't Hear Nobody Pray? Yes, I've heard that. Was yeah. that one they sang way back no, then? No, they didn't sing that way back in the time. Now, they sung an old song about the, the thunderbolt rattling, poor sinner stand so idle. Lord, I've got a union in my soul. How does that go? Let me see. <laughs> I'll sing a little of it. Seems like hey, I heard. thunderbolt rattling. Oh, sinner, stand so idle, son. Lord, I've got union in my soul. I ain't got long to stay. I've heard it. <laughs> Can you sing the rest of that? That's a good yeah. one. That's a sure fun. Lord, I ain't got long to stay. Lord, I ain't got long to stay in the world. I ain't got long to stay. God's calling me, and I ain't got long to stay. Lord, I ain't got long to stay in the world. I ain't got long to stay. Goodbye, and I ain't got long to stay. Lord, I ain't got long to stay in the world. I ain't got long to stay. God's calling me, and I ain't got long to stay. Lord, I ain't got long to stay in the world. I ain't got long to stay. Say well, I ain't got long to stay. Lord, I ain't got long to stay in the world. I ain't got long. I ain't got much of a voice for well, singing. You, oh, you got a good voice. <laughs> I ain't got oh, a, have a, mercy, child. I much, know you can sing that. Right? I ain't got no voice for singing. You remember a song called Go Down Moses? Go Down Moses. Tell old Pharaoh, let my people go. I never did know that. Go Down Moses. Turn that. What is it? Well, I hear talk of it. I hear it. So, go down Moses. You ever hear one called Deep River? No, sir. Did you ever hear that one they call Swing Low Sweet Chat? Did you ever hear the folks sing that one? Yes, I've heard folks sing that, but I never did know it by Swing Low Sweet Chat. did. Don't go carry me home. I never could learn that. I, I know, know uh, one, 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 uh, one song I think. All my members now, my dear. I don't know now what that song is, but I know it though. How does it go? I'm trying to think of it now. It goes by about uh, um, praying, praying to the Lord, save my soul. But I, I can can't get it together. You know, I can, if I can't get it together, you know, I don't want to say it, sing it. They can't get mm -hmm. it together. Because sometimes, you know, that way I get them wrong. And they be sung wrong. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Sung wrong. Uh, what about one of these songs? Uh, 
Sinner don't let this harvest pass. Did you ever hear that one? No, sir. I never knew that. Let this harvest pass. What's that other one about? Get on board of a sinner? Oh, yes. The old ship of Zion. Do you remember that one? I, I remember it, but I don't know it all. Get on board, get on board. I don't know all the hit. I just know a little of it. Get on board, little children, get on board. We don't sing it no that way. How do you oh, sing it? Shippers, I, uh, get on the board. I don't know much of that. Mm -hmm. I have got my mother. Gone on the ship of Zion, get on board, little children. I can't get that together. Mm -hmm. I don't know many songs. Mm -hmm. These are late notes, a late song. I don't know many. Has church many. services changed much from the way they used to yes, be? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's how true. and how, how have they changed? Mm -hmm. I say how. How have they? The, the, in what way? The people have changed up from singing, you know, and prayed up from the religion and everything, you know, that Is way. Is that right? Yes, I done trained up from the religion and everything that way. I'm trying to get the old this song, song like, but I can't get, get it straight. Yeah, well, you you don't you know this about been saved all day. No, I never heard that, and I'd like to hear it. How does it go? <laughs> I've been saved all day, no evil have I done. Been saved all day, no evil have I done. Been saved all day, no evil have I done. Sanctified and holy, no evil have I done. Yes, I love everybody, no evil have I done. Yes, I love everybody, no evil have I done. Good Lord, yes, I love everybody, no evil have I done. Sanctified and holy, no evil have I done. Have lied on nobody. No evil have I done. Have lied on nobody. No evil have I done. Have lied on nobody. No evil have I done. Sanctified and holy. No evil have I done. Yes, I love everybody. No evil have I done. Yes, I love everybody. No evil have I done, good Lord. Yes, I love everybody. No evil have I done. Sanctified and holy. No evil have I done. Well, that's a good one. That's Where'd you hear that one? one? Oh, we learned, they had sung that in our church, you know, up here. Uh-huh. We sung that sometime in our yeah, church. Can you remember any that the slave sung? Could you, could you... Or did they ever sing any songs? No. Uh, I, you know, I never said been slavery. But I hear them sing some after freedom, I know them. Some. But, I, you know, them way back songs. I can't hardly sing yeah. none of them. And one of them, I seem to remember, my old stepdaddy used to sing it by the Thunderbolt Rattley and Post Center Stan to Allison. Lord, I got a union in my soul, and I ain't got a long stay. Did I, didn't I tell you that, do you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a nice one. Yeah. Your yeah. yeah. stepdaddy. Yes, sir. That old red man. He saw that all the time. <laughs> uh, well, what were the preachers like in those days? I don't know, sir. I never remember no preachers in slavery time. I never remember. Of course, you know, I wasn't very so old, but, you know, I could remember some things. I wouldn't say so old, uh -huh. but I could remember some things. But I never remember no preacher. They never allowed to have preachers, did they? I never remember none. Mm -hmm. I never they remember none. Did you just get them sing and pray, huh? That's all I would hear them sing. Then you know, at night come, I'd go sleep then pretty soon. Mm -hmm. And even most of that sing, these just song would say, you know, after, after, you know, a good big girl, you know, we used to go to church, you know, all but, you know, but they never did. I never well, they had preachers people. under the arbors, didn't they? I know one of them. 
His Who name, was that? name Uncle Mark. I never will forget him. Was he good? Oh yes, an old man. Name Uncle Mark. He preached. Yes, name Uncle Was Mark. he a good preacher? Yes, yeah, so he's a good preacher. Name Uncle Mark. Preach like they do now. Ma'am. Did they preach like they do now? They, they better. They preach better then. I reckon. Oh, you see, they was uh, then. Now they preach by scripts most of the time. But then, you know, they just pre preach by the Spirit. You know, this mm -hmm. is the Spirit, Spirit led them, you know. And if they could preach good without a Bible, call it, you see, they had religion, you know, and, uh, That's right. and, and you know, the Lord would teach them, you know, mm -hmm. teach them what to say and how to say, you know. That's where it was then. But now, you know, it preaches by scripts, you know. Don't preach by that. Don't preach by that. All you know that I ever see was over, it was here. And they wasn't why. I used to hear Mama talk about them when she, when she was a child. She said that uh, one morning she went out to the old mister. She was big enough to know the hand water. And said when she got to the door, the open the door, that the stars was falling. Now, when the stars was falling that morning, and said she didn't know, and said the old mister looked out and says, uh, don't you go out there. She says, uh, stars, she said she just went like meat frying, you know, so the whole earth was just, just, uh, lit up, you know. They did just going like meat frying, just mm -hmm. four day. And yeah. said that, uh, when she went to go to the, what, to the spring, and the stars fell, so when it quit fall to daylight, and said she met some Indian, Indian, Indians down there, you know, they packed water from a spring, she said. And say she met some wild Indian. And they had, old Mrs. Cook had give her a piece of bread. And they give her, the, they give them the beads, you know, give them, give us, give us some beads, some beads, you know, and took the bread. And they, oh, yeah, so took the bread from them. And said every time she'd go and step in front, or go walk, they'd step in front of her. Every time they, she'd go and walk, they'd step in front of her. And yeah. said, and finally, at last, they had the bread up and raised the hand back to you know the, and took the, took the beads away from her. And, and that said they was wild, take it away from her. And said yeah. she went back to the house crying, went back to the house crying. She, uh, she told she met some people and took her bread and gave her some beads and then took the beads away from her. And that's all I ever hear talk of wild Indians, e Indians in, in my life. Mm. I never hear talk of no Indians. I ain't never seen none. Until uh, and until I don't know where them was Indian what, that all them feathers in the hat, uh -huh, in the was. in the head, uh -huh. I've seen some of them. Those are Indians. When when I was a child, I don't know where them was Indian or not. Then you see, when I was a child, they'd go in in droves, just uh -huh. in droves, and uh, come in the house, you know, and take what they wanted, some deep like that. You never take nothing but some teeth. Like that, and then get out, you know, and make fun of him, grin, you know, and laugh, you know. No, is that right? Yes, a laugh. Take it. All folks are there, they go and take it. If they're off their hand, you know, for it, and made the motion, you just well go get to them or let them go. They go out in there and get that stuff. Mama had an old chicken once, great big old chicken. And they didn't have them with pots then. Didn't have didn't have no stove. Just had pots as I could recollect it. Had pots. Mm -hmm. And taking had that chicken in the in that pot. And I don't know what that man said to him. Said to, you know, to the other now those. He said some kind of language we didn't hear. It. Yeah, he come in with a bucket. And just take that pot and put all that, that stuff in that pot with them fellas in his head, in his uh hatch, you know. Mm -hmm. Pulled pulled all that in, that vittles in that pot, and us little children stand around there hungry. And they had long high feathers in their head, and they had and them babies tied on their back. Uh huh. Tied, yeah, that's right. They tied on that's their, the their they back. Do. Yes, I didn't know what they was. What did they make their bedding out of in those days? The folks, what did the neat uh, colored folks use for bedding? They have quilts like they have now. I mean, what to make mattresses out of? Or how would they make these feather beds? You know, to get that old chicken, you know, and things like that. And that's what they get them off. And gooses, you know, that some of them are wise enough to have goose feathers. But when I when I was coming up, tell the truth about it, and I was coming up, 
we go out and cut our grass, cut it. You know, just take a hoe and cut it. And let take it off and pile it off and let it dry and put that in the mattress. Sleep on that. Yes, sir. Did it sleep pretty good? Yes, sir. It slept pretty good. It wouldn't ground up neither. You know, it cut it and it stayed. Mm -hmm. But if you wait till the frost fell on, it'd ground up fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're chilling now. We, Mom would have us two, uh, them old big old hay mattress <laughs> on the bed, and we thought we were something. <laughs> 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 we would. We were in something. What about, uh, Johnny, that uh, business of. of uh, Taking, having some of the Negroes with good hands, you know, and good women, good men going off and breeding them like cattle. Do you remember anything about that? No, I didn't know. And see, they wouldn't let children know of that, you know, but I heard it after, after mm -hmm. that they'd do that. But see, when it was coming up, wouldn't let us know anything about them like that. But they say that would show so. You know, just like a big, fine-looking woman, a big, fine-looking man, you know. Old boss wants, you know, children from them, you know. They just... Fasten them up in the house or somewhere, you know, going off and leave them in there. You want to breed them like those hogs or horses, something like that, I said. That sounds like it. Yes, sir. And they said that's what they used to do in slavery time. Did they whip the slaves much? Do you remember how well, they whipped them? The, the biggest whooping ever I know was give to A. Martha Albert. The biggest whooping ever I know. Mr. Benny nearly whooped his niggas much. They had to do something mighty, mighty, you know, bad for him to whoop them. Yes, well, did the slaves ever try to slip away? Did they ever try to run off? No, not none, not not none on the place where we was. I never hear them say they'd run off over there, run off. Other places I hear them stay in the woods and uh, so long until they wear the clothes off them and slip up. Now, I heard Mama say when she was a girl, when she was good, no, she she could she brought Mississippi. When she was a girl, that there that one old woman run off. She did run off. The beat her so she run off. And every night she slip home, and somebody have her something to eat, something to eat. And she get that vittles, and going back in the woods, going back stay in the woods. And they, you know, just uh, they tell the other, you know, could you see? I don't know what their name. See so and so. Ever see them? You know. Well, you tell them if they come home, we ain't going to whoop them. We ain't going to whoop them if they come home. Well, that'd be all the way you know they'd come. Said once this man stayed in the woods so long, tell you his hair on him long like a dog. Mm -hmm. well, just grow up, you know, and stayed in the woods. Just stayed in the woods. Hmm. And they couldn't get him out. Well, did any of them run off and get plum free? Were they? You ever hear of I hear talk, talk about them? hear them talk about it going off, you know, going off the places where they're free. Well, here, here, well, I heard her say, I didn't know that. She said, just like she be some white people, you know, would some nigga come along, you know, and he just get him off, you know, take him, carry him off, where he wouldn't be no, tell him, wouldn't be no slave, or wouldn't be beat up, you know, and carry him off that way. Mm -hmm. Still, two, three, they'd say the white folk could cast them three or four, you know, colored people off that way. Or pick up children, say, they used to go in the wagons, you know, go around wagging with the covers on them. I, I've seen covers since I've been beating up with wagon, with covers on them, and just take them and go on. Well, when I was a child, I see a little boy, a man jumped out of the old covered wagon and caught the child, and caught him, and got for his belt with the child. Well, I reckon that was a slave, I don't know. That was a slave, but they caught him, caught the child. And I had a grandchild that they take taken off. Is that right? Who took him off? Well, the show people, I didn't took him off. I don't know. They took him off. They sealed him. What do you know? Yes, yeah, they took that child off. Mom didn't have but that one. <laughs> and they took it off. Mm -hmm. Took it off. But they got it at some time. Well, can you remember how the... What what happened when they set you free? Do you remember what the? Can you you remember how the old master acted when they? No, so I can't remember that. You know, can't remember that. But I I remember you know the time they give them a big dinner. You know, on the nineteenth. Is that right? On on the nineteenth. You know, that's called you. They said have they give them a big dinner on the nineteenth. But now we didn't know. I'll tell 
I don't hide the other side of the folks you know feeding. We didn't know. They just thought, you know, just feeding us, you know. Just had a long table. And just had uh, just a little everything you want to eat, you know, and drink, you know. And, that, and they said that was on the 19th. And everything we wanted to eat and drink. Well, you see, I didn't know what that was for. I just, you know, just, it wasn't wise like the children is now. You know, anything grew up now, a child six, seven years old can tell you. That's right. Yes, it, it wasn't wise. They, uh, that's the way they done us. Give us a big dinner, Mr. Bethany. And them. Mr. Bethany got Miss Mills. Is Mr. Bethany's granddaughter stay right across town. And uh, she got a daughter stay out here in the country. Our young mister. Mm. In the country. Mm. <laughs> I, didn't know. I know some of the white folks know it was nice. Well, just beat them. Of course they do, but they don't want to tell on them. Uh, do you, how long have you lived in Hempstead? Here? 22 years. Right here, 22 years. Do you remember when they had the big race riot here a long time ago? No, when sir. All the, all the colored folks and the white folks got in, got in the fight? No, sir. I wasn't here then, I know. Do you remember it? You, no, sir. Did you ever hear of it, I mean? No, sir, I didn't hear of it. I stayed, though, at the, the old, old till in the oil field. That's for I've I been in the oil field. I was there 30 years in the oil field. Raccoon band. Yes, sir. What we call, you know, it's just an oil field. Right on, on, a, on a place they call Paynes' Place. Yeah, they stayed right there. That's okay. about 15 miles over here. No, it's between here in Belleville, but yeah. it's down in the bottom lake. Uh -huh. uh, any, any time you just say, down the pain this place, you know. Uh, pain this place. Down there's Raccoon City, though. There's, there's all in there now. It's an oil field mm -hmm. called Raccoon City. Raccoon City is an oil field. Well, how many grandchildren have you? How many children you got and grandchildren you got? I'm going to see. I got four living children. Four living children. And about 25 grandchildren, 25 now, and years I'll come at it. I think it's 25. And I've got 30, 34 great-grandchildren. Think if I if it had time, I could count them children. Now, here's one of my great-grandchildren. I've got... Four, four, four grown grandchildren here with me, four around me, while I know they here, one going to them. But I got that. That's Clara, Red, Olive Brother, and uh, Sonny Man, and Babe. Now, them, them there's my grandchildren. My, them, my great, them ain't my great grandchildren. And they here. Child, that's one one great grandchild, and my grandson, he got three, and that's four, ain't it? Yeah, them chemical, I can't, I can't keep up with them. That's, that's three, four. that's four. And my my daughter's, right, her son, he got two. He got, he got two. And my grandson stay in the bottom. He's got six. Still on in this bottom. He got six. That's my great grandson. Got six. Uh, my, my grandson, he got sick. Well, I got a great grand, great, got a great grandson, great grandson. He got four. That's my great grandson. Got four, four. Least, least last time I hit him, he had four. And my, and my, my granddaughter, her daughter. She ain't got but one. She ain't got but one. I don't think. Well, my uh, other great grandson. He, I think, they say he had nine great grandchildren. Oh, I got about thirty or more, or some great grandchildren. Side the grandchildren, my great grandchildren now I got these children. What I'm counting. Now my great grandchildren got these children, but my grandchildren, you know, they all, they all there too. I got so many of them. You know. Well, I got, I got great grandchildren, fifty years old, hmm. fifty years old. Yes, when sir. did you marry the first time? I married when I was 16 years old. Is that right? Yes, sir. 16 years old. Who'd you marry? I married a boy named Ross. Ross uh, Bonner. He married, married again. Whereabouts? Over in Belleville? In Belleville. We were married in 
be able to admit, at Mr. Thompson's house. The, uh, what, the mayor, of the, mayor of the town married me. Hmm. It, 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 uh, Nelsonville, that's on that seven mile of Bilbo, on the other side, on the other side of the Bilbo. How no, long did that husband uh, live? We stayed together ten years. Ten years. Ten years before he died. Then after he died, I stayed together, stayed single in about four or five years. No, it wasn't. I stayed together four years, single four years. Then I married another man named Richard Smalley. Richard Smalley. Richard Smalley, yes, sir. And uh, I, I found some three or four children by him. Cause he, uh, his, uh, his oldest, my oldest boy by him got a letter from him, had, thought he was dead. And I got one of his granddaughters here with me now. His 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 uh, daughter, granddaughter. Then I got one of his daughters. Of course they wait, but they're here with me. Well, so I couldn't call the children grandchildren. I ain't got the great grandchildren. What the what children my great grandchildren got? You know. Well, what about times here? In has times got any better for the colored folks, or do they still mistreat them here? In you no, know, so they don't mistreat them now here in Hempstead. They don't mistreat them now and then, you know. They, here a good while ago, six, seven years ago, you know, they go out in the country and beat them up. But they don't quit that now. They don't beat them up so, so bad now like they used to. But you sure do, it used to be bad. Well, didn't they I, used be, I used to be scared, you know, to sit on the gallery. And I didn't know whether it was going to bother me or not. I hadn't done nothing. Hmm. Did it bother you whether you'd done anything or not? <laughs> I wouldn't know. That they used to call this uh, six shooter junction, you know. And I was sure enough scared. But then nobody never had bothered me since I've been here. And none of my children. But see, we all act right, you know, and treat everybody right, you know. And have no, 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 keep coming, you know, to. Mistreat us that way. Now I had a son. He he'd, he'd get drunk. You put him in jail. He'd get drunk. But then they they turn him out. They never beat him up. They turn him out. They whip some of them though. Yes, yeah, so they whip some, some of them. But you see, I didn't know. They whip some of them. Beat them around. You know, they try to act tough, get drunk. You know, and try to act tough. You know, and they beat some of them. Now I tell you. And they did uh, women, some of them around here, they'd kick them and knock them about sometimes. They'd get drunk, you know, and wouldn't listen at them, you know, what they'd say, you know. They'd knock them, put them in jail, something like that. The biggest been doing around here was women, colors for killing up one another for a while, you know. Was killing up one another for a while. Women killing other women about the husbands and all like that. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest doing. Men killing yeah. wives right there in town. Is that right? Yes, sir. Man, man killed his wife right there in town. Right there in the streets, killed her. And uh, another man would have killed a woman, but the doctor, you know, kept him from killing her. And then I had a niece cut her husband's head off right down there in this bottom. Ain't, ain't much more than about five miles down the bottom. The niggas was killing up there themselves. And, then, yeah, and another woman cut, uh, killed her and stopped another woman by her husband. Goodness. And uh, after he killed this woman by her husband, then uh, she went on and married her. And she done killed his wife. She, shh, shh. Go get that old picture now here. Well, um, right after the Civil War, well, they used to, the Negroes used to hold office in this town, didn't they? <laughs> that's what they say. That's what they, that's what it's written in the history books. The Negroes used to hold office until they had this big, had a big fight about something. I don't know just what. And then after that, they put a law in that they never could. Yeah, that was here in Hempstead. You no, know, that wasn't over, over our side. Wait, mm -hmm. no, I ain't never know but the one man, one man tried to hold office, and that was Handy Smith. 
Uh-huh. Big old black man. He tried to hold the office, you know, over there. Uh-huh. And, uh, but he slept too much, and they take him and had him on the ground, you know, he sleep. And he slept. Hmm. And let him go. And <laughs> And they had more use for him. Yeah, they put him on a grand jury, you know, having him up, and he just go to sleep. And over here, you know, I've only been over here, you know, about 22 years. And I don't know. Uncle Billy McCree, Jasper, Texas, 1940. I'm Uncle Billy. How are you, Mr. Thank you very well. Can you have a seat? Well, come sit right here in this. Oh, you want to sit anywhere? I think maybe. All right, right over there. Sit in that. I'm going to sit over here by you and talk to you some. I didn't want to come. My voice is not good. I can't, I'm afraid I can't do what I talk like I want to talk. Well, that'll be fine. Uh, well, I'm fine. If you don't sing them as to please you tonight, I'll we'll bring you back in the daytime. Yeah. If you're not satisfied with them tonight, well, I'll bring you back in the daytime when you're feeling better. Yeah. Now go ahead and, and uh, sing one of those steamboat songs. What do you have on the steamboat song? Well, I'm just telling you now, I'm going to start that. You want to sing that song sort of like... Blow, corny, blow. You want to sing that sort of like when they go to work? Yeah. Yeah. Well, now you see, the deck hand now to go to work. I'm singing for you. Well, nothing here going to hurt you, Uncle Billy. I think I hear the captain call me. Blow, honey, blow. I think I hear the captain call me. Blow, honey, blow. Oh, blow, honey, blow. Blow, honey, blow. A blue call, loud and mournful. Oh, honey, blue. I think I hear the captain say so. Oh, honey, blue. Gonna make that long, long to be in. Oh, honey, blue. We soon will be to the landing corner. Blow, honey, blow. The captain hand me down my saddle. Blow, honey, blow. Oh, blue boy, let him hear you. Blow, honey, blow. Oh, blue loud and powerful music. Blow, honey, blow, oh, blow loud, just so he can hear you. Blow, honey, blow, I think I hear the captain call you. Blow, honey, blow, that's the best way. Now, what are the boys doing when they were singing that? What did you do? Yeah. To the show. Totem salt? Yes, sir. Where? From the boat to the from bank? The boat goes back to the White House. Where'd that salt come from? I don't know where it comes from. You, you got to go to Vermont. Yeah. Vermont, yeah. they set the sign, you know, and they, uh, when they land down, they knew how to tote it up this bank and put it in the White House. And they would sing the while they're toting it. Well, now they'd sing Handy Gale also, wouldn't they? No, this is another one. All right. Let's see now how that goes. Let's just turn that up. 
Old Sally, what you gonna have for dinner? Was that one? No, no, that's one of them. Well, sing that one. Let's see now how that is. I've got this to the water. That's the reason why I didn't, didn't want to come because I didn't have it preaching out. You see, I'll tell you how it is. Let me talk a little bit. You see here? My ear. See, I had a lot of ears for two years. And at night coming, when it hurts, it seems like it injures my voice. But it don't hurt me only just at the time. But now I see, let me see how that is. How about the Jura Rale? Don't come to my house. Yes, that's a good one too. All right, I'm singing that. Jura Rale, don't come to my house. Jura Rale, don't come to my house. Jura Rale, hold on, hold on. Jura Rale, hold on, nigga, hold on. You rouse it all around, oh, you go home. You rouse it all around, who tells the good dog? You rouse it all around, here tells the hill tower. Now you rouse it all around, who tells the fried meat? You rouse it all around, who tells the bread to bread? You rouse it all around, who tells the good dog? You rouse it all around, who tells the false dog? You rouse it all around, who tells the false dog? You rouse it all around, who tells the false dog? You rouse the rouse the rouse, who rouse the rouse, you rouse the rouse, who ties the good dog, you rouse the rouse, hit out the hit out, you rouse the rouse, rouse, chicken old ties, you rouse the rouse, rouse, catch them old ties, you rouse the rouse, rouse, who ties the potty dog, you rouse the rouse, who ties the tender crop, you rouse the rouse, rouse, who ties the tender crop, you rouse the rouse, rouse, who ties the bitter bread, you rouse the rouse, rouse, who ties the good dog. Rouse it round around, you rouse it round around, you rouse it round around, skim old ties, you rouse it round, catch him old ties, you rouse it round, catch him old ties, you rouse it round, you rouse it round, you rouse it round, who ties the biting dog, you rouse it round, who ties the bite, you rouse it round, who ties the hurt, you rouse it round, who ties the good dog, you rouse it round, skim old ties, you rouse it round. Get him all tired, rouse and rouse, hold him tired, rouse and rouse. How do you like that? That's a, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. well, now, hold on. Go on. Let's finish with those. How about that walk Darley? How'd that go? Which? Walk Darley. You said, or Dooley or something like that. Oh. Walk Dooley. Walk Dooley. Walk Dooley. Dooley is a good you walk a doule, doule, my honey girl, to rouse the door. Walk, doule, walking in the talking. Walk, doule, walking in the talk. Walk, doule, doule, the hand there. You are in the door, you are. You are the hand. You see, I've got that on. That's for you, my mom, my voice is not. Let me see now. Let me see how I get that started again. Don't, don't notice that shit. Sometimes I slap Julie's girl to walk. 
Some time I shut the door. Whoa, do is a good girl. Whoa, when I stop doing on the door. Whoa, do then it can't be a good girl. Whoa, do lay. <laughs> I got no, no, no machine now. What's that old? Handy girl. Handy girl. Let me tell you how it is. Handy girl. Yeah, I've got to study. You see, I've got to get to study before I can see it. That's all right. Uh, what about... Uh That's what they were showing on the board when he was talking. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen to him. Let's see. Let's see. How did that go? I had that down good today. As I told him, I remember sort of leaving. What did you do on the boat, uh, uh, cook. Uncle Billy? I cooked. How long? On the boat? Yeah. Cook on the boat? About six years. And where did the boat run? From, from Beaumont to, to Jasper Hill, Dog Port. How many miles was that? To, I think they call it 50 miles from mm -hmm. Jasper to Beaumont. And cook on I cooked on about six years on steamboats. And how old are you, Uncle Billy? Well, I... Sit over a little bit. Right. To tell you my age, now, I don't exactly know my age, but I can tell you what I go for. The 15th of this of October, I'll be 89. 89 years old. And on the second hand, the way they've got my age fixed up, I uh, on the 15, I will be 117 years old. But I register in the courthouse of my age, be 98, uh, age, uh, 89, just coming the 15th of this month, next of October. How many children have you, Uncle? How many children? I uh, have. Uh, how many children? Thirty-six. Thirty-six? Yes, sir. How many boys? How many boys? Eighteen boys. And how many girls? I do know. Can you like to tell this? How many girls? But the boys, I got sixteen way back in Jasper County. Sixteen boys? Yes, sir. And two boys, you see what I did? Yeah. That's my boys, twin boys. You see another boy there? Yeah. That's my boy. And another boy come out there. Mm -hmm. That's one of my boys here right there. I have I have one in I have one in uh in Beaumont. I have one boy. Slavery was over. Stay it over and you see if I can tell you about that. Well you said you they all can't go and tell me about them coming through here with cannons. Hmm. Yeah, yes. Now I'll tell you in slavery, way back in slavery time. I was stand at that's when the, the niggas were free. I we all got every day back in town to see the Yankees all going back home. I can really disagree that this house this have a uh, Six and, and eight mules to a cannon going through, and boats on them uh, cannon, cannon. Then they put the wagon and have boats all on them wagon. Oh, look at the little mule, look at the little mule, and one man a riding, riding the tongue mule. We all just take a look at them. I'm saying all day long I'll be caught, and I read as well. And all the Yankees I read like were blue, were dressed in blue clothes. 
I can remember, we'd go jump right in here and had a little pillow on the coat like that. The back line and of course it's up here. You yeah. I regret this as well. This is coming out. And it black mule. Just how uh, maybe oh I don't know how many black horses. Then they come along then a lot of these old grey mules on it. This to them cannon cannon. And then they come back with horses, saw horses. All these stuff all going through the, that way for two days. They were going out through that for two days. And I remember and the Yankees stopped here, and the Yankees stopped right on the corner. I was crying. I was a good side boy then. And they what they call Freedom Bureau. You hear tell that, ain't you? And they prosecuting people, you know, what to do, you know, and all like that. And I regret how they supposed. I've seen two men that had that were punishing for what they do. And I seem to take them. I had a little big tent. We, we go to go out and see him, and they take him, hang him up with a thumb. And they let the tip, at that time, he hang out so many men, and then let him down. That's the punishment they got. I regret the old man that they had in the car, an old Deb, uh, Shay. His name is Yankee White. And the man, the judge's name, I forgot his name. But then I know we regret Yankee White. And that's what he used to do in the car. Well, then, they come, and my old master, old Colonel McCray, he bought one, two of the horses from him. I rigged, I rode the horse many times. One old big horse they called Yankee Tom, big saw horse. And another big old horse was a saddle horse old Colonel McCray bought, and he was called Boston. He was a good big black horse. I rigged on him, he took them all down to the farm, and I rigged took all of that. I was a good big boy then, yeah, good big boy. And the Yankees had come, and after a while, there'd be a whole troop of men come. They said they were Yankees, all walking, all walking. That crew of Yankees would go through. Next time you see, there'd come a whole troop of Yankees, all riding horses, big guns hanging on them, and all like that, you know. You all just stand looking at them, all going home. And I said, I asked him, I said, I said, to him, I said Mama, what are, where are they going? He said, they're all going home now. And old Colonel Cray died all the master, he was looking at it. He said, well, hi, all of you niggas is all free now. Yankees all going home. I remember that this as well. Right, right in town, so where we lived at, right above the new, the new uh, post office. That's my old, old master's home, that's uh, 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 up above the old post office. Well, that is his square from that post office, clean down to the Citizen Bank. Oh, that is his whole square down. And clean over to the other point, come out on up to the Methodist Church. That's my old master's place. I can remember he was a speculator. I can remember a good big boy then. He had a big old shed down. And he, and he had cotton all in that shed, and we boys would all go play on that shed every day. And he had a he had wagon every every day. He'd load up all them wagons and take all that cotton and go. Go. Oh. Now you see, that that was in slavery time. Now we get this as well, and he'd bring back a whole lot of colored people. Oh, come across they said he was a speculator. And he sold them to all these people around this country. There's a lot of old people are all dead now, what he brought them to. They all go off and bring them in. Oh, you look all of that. My old, my old, my old papa was his wagoner. I used to go, he used to carry me with him all the time. He used to haul cotton, cat cotton from Jasper to Wise's Bluff. And, and cat from Wise's Bluff, and they cat cotton over him, the uh, whip to, at a place they call, uh, I forgot the place now, Cat Cotton anyway. I remember he used to, he used to all the words, I was a good big boy now, and he had an auction, had an old, had an auction, had an old auction named Brandy. That's how come he used his wagon up. He'd get tired and sit down, Bill, I oh, yes sir, get on up, get this whip, get on. And I'd ride old Brandy, ride old Brandy and drive the rest of them, ride him. So I get tired and get down and walk side on that. I'll be like, oh, nigga, I've been to a heap. <laughs> All that stuff, that, that is the same time.
That's what she was talking about. And I remember I didn't take some more about slavery time. Right down, I can't tell you that's why I'm telling you. Right down close to Mr. Lincoln May's place, there was no jailhouse on. Old log jailhouse. Old log jailhouse was on. That, that's the only, that's all I was going to, that, that's where, and there was no, was no, court, was no old, some kind of old courthouse, I rejected. And you used to put prisoners in that jailhouse. And me, me, and another young white fellow I raised named Cole McCray and Henry Munn. And we used to go home, the people that want some tea, we used to go home and steal bread and stuff and poke a them little bar to the prisoners. We used to go That's right, San Jacob. And there's no log jailhouse. Yeah. And all around now, we're, we're great. And I regret one time we all was looking at it. And they, and they brought in, they had hounds. And they brought them hound in and brought three niggas. With them hound, runaway niggas, you know, and cut the wood. And they, right, right across, right the creek there, they take them niggas and put them on, and put them on a log game down the pavement. And hook them. You hear them niggas hollering and praying on that log. I'm now with the men to bring them in. Then they take them out down and put them in jail. I'm very much with that. Now, I seen all of that out of the boys. That's Annie Williams, Petersburg, Virginia, circa 1937. Yeah. I 
Aunt Phoebe Boyd, Dunsville, Virginia, 1935. <laughs> Drive on. Drive on. See? I had to get all over my car. I got a mother. Something human then and he had a father. I thought he was going to stop. I'm telling him now, we ain't nothing out of law. Got the car trust in him. And he was just for That's why I'm walking this way. <laughs> So handsome. And, um, this young man, he's a stranger to me, isn't he? Yes, he's a very nice gentleman. Another hook of that. He teaches. He teaches. Hmm? I teach him. You too. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. I trust the Lord will bless you all. You all hold on to the best you can in the We'll take the Lord with you. Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, I'm here another gentleman, eh? <laughs> I have to tell you all, of course. Yeah? Yeah, of course, he told me. The master, when I was, you know, seeking for him, he told me, Warner, oh, that's how long struck him, and if they don't believe in you, you let him stand. I'm going to. See, and you know I got... And I wish you all the good luck. Have a hold your hands and hands. Let's go to the one house. How is it? How is it? You get in trouble? Why you got these calling? See? Well, I want you to call. Yes, sir. Call him. Call him. That's all of you. And this young lady right here, you know, I know her. No, brother, that's why I've come up here to now. When the big girl, she hadn't... <laughs> oh. No, I didn't live no far. Oh, grandfather. You want the grandfather? Yeah. Grandfather. No, I didn't live very far far. <laughs> and I didn't I had to forget her father was there. I don't know. I know about the old man. The name, what is John talking? Yeah. Yeah. Well, didn't. 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 He was, he was married three times, one. Four times. Four times. Yes. Well, he married Miss, oh, Miss Charles Breeze. Is That's right. That's right. That's married right. her, his yes. widow. That's right. And, of course, my husband's mother, you know, uh, when she went away from here to Fettersburg. That's it. That's right. And uh, she had to go. She stayed in out there uh, with, with mother. What her name, Mary? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Mary Cooper. Mary Cooper. And uh, 
Not a more does a good as good to be. Well, that is when he was buried. Well, that is buried. And he had a daughter named Emma, and she lived. Yes. Emma and Tumble lived. Yes. Is she? Yes. Because yes. Mr. Wilson Phillips, they had to wait, you know, for her to And Mr. Sweat in the scene. See Dr. Phillips. And, uh, and, and it didn't bear until after he comes. After she comes. Yes. Yeah, yeah Lord of all does it do So many times I done put the joy to it. Yeah. Silence. And coming round, you know, to the door. And she was looking out the window. And she called me. Huh. Robert was with me. How yes. come? Yes, I know. Yes. Uh, and then we have you to call me. So I went on. Went on in. And went on upstairs. Up the in the room. Yes. Even down that day when I went, I had a cake bit, chicken fried. And I did it. And I had a basket. Yes, hmm? nice. yeah, ma'am. And brought a ham on these hands, you know? Yes, ma'am. Um, Fixed it, and I had a box. I said, I'm going to cast up some alcohol for her so she didn't have to go into the table. Yes. Stayed in the room while. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and I go there. If I go away from here again, I'm going out the same place that's again. That's right, that's right. And, and, uh, and she said, ma'am, I'm working now. I said, I'm putting this glass in the laundry. Yes. I said, that's exactly what you ought to be doing. Yes. To put you, yeah, put you to work. Yeah, and I'm telling them now, people got to do right in the third of God because he knows all about it. And uh, and I'm so thankful. Yeah. Pro, yeah. pro, that they have blessed me. And I tell you, the old people these days, the young folks, the young folks ain't taking time, yeah. is it? No, they're not. Ain't taking time. No, Ain't taking time. But I'm telling you. <laughs> so they come. Yes, it is. They don't think about that way. Well, that's the uh, thing, John. That's the fact of the The man got up his feet. You always hear the servant speak before the drive over? Yeah. I take my order. Well, you tell me, tell us something about it. <laughs> yeah. The man said, he's free. That's the water then. And so when he got up and he come out to free, I listen. I take my order. You got Bible in there. Come out to free. God knows the people of the world. Think with it. Yes. And he quoted a text about a drive on it. And we ain't nothing about drive on it. No. But who's there now? That's mine. I'm not going to do it. Who's there now? Yeah, now I'm not going to do it. Who's there now? Who's there now? Fine boy. Fine, we thought they fine boy. What trumpet? He blows that morning. He will come out to blow. And Jesus Christ went down the mountain. 
And I forget the man's name. Oh, he seeks to find him. No, I don't think it. <laughs> well, you know the the the, 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 the witness of the Bible. If you've been truly born by the Holy Spirit, you know. Yes. See. Yes. You're a uh, witness in your breath. Yes. And I know he was preaching, and I. Yes, ma'am. I think they had. I had 300 people out. I had planted them, planted them, get all, get all the water outdoors, and I went on in the church, you know. I come on in the door, but for the spirit, come out. I said, what you wanted me? Hey, have you had any dinner for me? Yes, sir. <laughs> Yeah, mom, he's on yeah. that. He's been to my house, sure. Yeah, he told his man yesterday you could find him in a minute, right there. Who? Uh, Reverend Scott. He was at my house. You know, he had the time meeting up here last week. Was last week? Yeah. At Google? Yeah, week before that. Yes. Yeah. Well, how many converts did he have? I didn't hear. I don't know. Well, he was at... He never comes in this neighborhood if he's got time for he's going to come by. he got to read the Bible and pray for me. Yeah. <laughs> well, I declare. Yes. Yes, ma'am. I love him. Yes, he's a good man. Well, I tell you, uh, people don't, don't put a church like they used to. They don't care so much for it. Let me tell you something. Everything else in the world has to be done. Who is we all without the Lord? Hmm? That's it. He holds us in the hall of his hand. That's right. Not only. He's all power up. in his hand. But the young ones have forgotten that. Yeah. But I'm telling you myself. And then the shame, they don't... Don't honor him like that. That's it. You don't do it. No, they don't. And um, what he will do me in my rest, for talking to me. And the boy come to me in my rest, uh, he said, I'll kill him. Please don't lock the door. That's right. That's right. See? And I know. The witness is in our breast. Yeah. I went to the first free school out at the center of a wall. I was pushing with my... <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The first free school was, was uh, opened after the Civil War, I went to it. And, and my husband didn't want me to come out of school. So I stayed so he, he came away. That was a pity for me. And I could know my ABC, know, my, know how to spell and everything, but still, I, 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 I could spell it out sometimes. <laughs> And, and if I had a kept on, you know, I could have... He could have been reading and writing. Yes, indeed. And every child I had, I said, every one, two, three, every last. Uh -huh. And every child I got can read and write, except to Julia. She can read, but she can't write. Right. Well, Lucy right. can read, but she can't write. Yeah, well, how is Lucy now? Lucy, they say she's got books. She I've been out that way, yeah. You have? Yes, ma'am. I've been right out there. Oh, it's so sorry for me. Yeah. And, uh, I, I don't know. You know what people in the world... Uh, you know, we ain't got no friends. And uh, some people ain't caring at all about you. No. All they want you to do, lead, do like they want you to do. Yes, yes, yes. And if you do that, you're all right. And I told you to... He wanted the way to be the two doctors. Yes. Well, I never did have mine. Yes. I said, Lucy, you can go ahead. But it's the two. But God, I'm going to put a cuss on you. And I said, you mark what I tell you. Uh -huh. I said, mark what I tell you when I tell you anything. I don't look at it. Yes. She's working the factory. Ready to get this cut. Come home. And I said, you're a on a dress. Why should I 
It could get on wet. The same look. The same look. I know. Well, I can lose that today, you know. I have to stay at home. Going to all these. These clothes, you know, they're just as fine as they can be. And they lead to all that. Well, you set them out. Let's get them little leaves together, you know, and sing them down in the ground. Then you lay a plot of dirt or a chip up in the red old hood till it gets loose. Yeah. That way I did you see. That way everybody did. Uh -huh. Then let it take root to see. That that plant come at the door. I had five rows of this. Yeah, man, I got something that is pretty cool to grab what you want to see. I smoke it, I don't see. Yes, ma'am. So they even had to make a fine stove in my room. You know, I cook that. I don't bother with it. I'm going to finish cooking. And I go in on this part. I try to kill you in my room. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to heat that room. I'm going to heat my plate and smoke my room. I'm going to make some meat. Yes, ma'am. And I tell you, it's so, it's so, uh, it's so good. Uh, now, uh, now this year, two out, one of our two people. Uh, two people, two people. She took after me, did I raise the bat? I told her, yeah. Well, two people. Yes. Yeah. 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 She said, if you raise the bat, you can tell you the bat and make good money off. Bad to the box, that. That had plenty of it. And the cat to the battle factory, and it was have it put up just as nice as nice can be. Well, now you see this battle was in these bags and things. See nothing in the world. See the sea in the world, but we just go to this. And I tell them, just put these bags in the hat. Take the hat. Oh, that. And you may take a cigarette. I tell you, so clean. That's true. Well, look the Hoskins. Look the Hoskins, the Bella Hoskins. You know, I know, look at that. Yes. You can tell them. And, and now, now, them, 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 them cigarettes, there's none of the world but dope in them. You can't fool me. And they you may light up, light. May, may light one now and take a piece of white paper and lay a hole over like that. And that paper turns into a <laughs> dark as can be. Well, that is, that's the way it is on your lungs. But I hear talk of a young man who was in the city in Baltimore. I in Baltimore, I think. He was an eating rat. And he got sick. And it settled on his lungs. And don't sing any word but smoke and cigarettes, and I tell them now. They can, if you want to make them, make them. But these cigarettes, I wouldn't smoke them. <laughs> Nothing. And uh, we always raise the back. Raise the back on it. And you can do it, do it in the way you want. I wish I had had some TV here. Do you know how to do with the rain? That's it! Well, I never knew. It looks like it's really strong. You want me to tell you? Yes, I'd love to get those things. You want me to tell you? Yes. Get out of here. George Trooper is your uncle. Yes. Your uncle? Oh, 
in Boris. Because he lived in that house right there, you know, as a term, you know. Well, let's laugh.
I see. <laughs> yes. What what kind of flood did you have here about a month ago, Van Beaver? Oh, I tell you, it's a You know what I'm saying? But I knew who you had it for. For the Lord for him. I was scared to see you. And my house. Everybody's house around there. Boy, you know the shingle that got flat? Yeah, I know. And the water running there. Well, that's a well. And they say. Somebody was telling me. They hung a man. Someone or another was telling me. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Somebody was saying, heard it in the paper, it was in the paper. Uh -huh. But God, he moves in mysterious ways, his wonders to the fall. Plants his footsteps in the sea, and he rises upon the stone. Don't he do it? I know what the man done in nothing. You know what I'm talking about? When they hung him, I'd be no jumping at the fish try to hang him. Let's go a place once, and they were hanging a boy, a man, standing down looking at by his mother, brother's law. Oh, Johnny, since I've been traveling. That's mine, my student. And the, the gallop was up as high as you top of this house. And thought all these people all that come around. All standing around. And this 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 man standing there, rope around his neck. And, uh, I tell you there's something for you to look at. I don't know what I have seen in my life. And when they got ready to touch the lever, and when they touched the lever, that man, that he had the rope round his neck, and they just cut him hanging by his neck. We pray that we did your eyes. We did your eyes. Mother, father, brothers, and all right down the line. And I never saw such a person in all the days of my life. And I'm telling you, go over the road and this time, you say he moves in this way, his wonders to the forest. And he plants his footsteps in his feet. And he rises and comes from the And when this storm comes, That was this man the hung. And they said there was a hundred men got right in your hands in the paper. I didn't I didn't hear it just that was in the paper. And I said, now look, don't nobody know what the man has done. He ain't know nothing about it. But he's all the soul and all the And they, they, they couldn't bury the people. They had to burn them up. They had to burn them up, so then the paper. Yeah, yeah. I saw that. Yeah, so then the paper. And they had to burn the people up. I said, now you see, you see, you see. <laughs> Do it to suit yourself. Okay. And when God ran, did them all here. Mm -hmm. I said, all right, I'm going to hold on to him until death. <laughs> yeah. I tell you, this is there's something in the world. Judgment is near at hand. It's near at hand. I you the Well, I don't know. I don't know. Time ain't long. Do you believe it? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I don't believe time is long. Gable, <laughs> yeah, well, I done told the master, I want him. I <laughs> love six pounds, please. Right there, too. That goes, too. 
in your grandfather's time, that was someone. <laughs> no, <laughs> and now uh, the backer. Will you come with the back? That many dollars of them had a picture. Well, hey, what kind of seed is in the place when you're getting cotton? What is in the place? Yeah, cotton is real. Fatter than looking at the nerve. But when that cotton comes up, you see, that cotton come up, and it'll grow, and then it'll come with the deer. You know, just like you see, when you see how the old red ground see? Yeah. What other is? The ground see had a hill like that. Had a hill just like that. And you plant that ground see. And every time you work that ground see, put the dirt up on top. Yeah. And you know, every branch from the, from the hill, the ground see. Yeah. See? Well, cotton, all it gets up, you know, you and that bloom, when that bloom drop down this, the, 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 uh, you know, bud come, and that open, when that open, that cotton thing now, but all you got to do then is pick, pick that cotton, pick that, uh, cotton out of them ball, and then pick, used to have our house, pick every night, look all day long in the field and pick my own cotton snake, and I'm, <coughs> what next? Right on that top of you. And then you used to have the loom. Don't spun the many, 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 many pounds of cotton and wood. They had charges then, you know. Yeah. yeah. And the spinning wheel round wheel, like you see these cattle wheels. Yeah. Then the Spinning wheel. Well, you know they have the the, the butch on the you know the, the the head of it, the straight thing, and then that the the, the you know why the grind the butch on, mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. and it have you know the standing like that, but it's uh, just like that. Mm -hmm. And I wish that had many dollars. And uh, and the backer. The backer has the dog, the dog, the dog, and uh, you know, stick the stem on it, and then twist it. I can twist it out of my And I'm telling you, God, too. I'm telling you, too. I have awesome seeds. If I could get some seeds, cut some seeds, I certainly really need some cut. So if a man comes to the country, and they said, this place where I'm living at, the lake you, yeah. and said, ground peas and cotton, said, that piece of ground will suddenly bring them. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Um. Coming through, just like y'all, just like this your man now, you, went through the country. Certainly. And, uh, but it don't ever get none. I think I'm going to get none of these school teachers. Yeah. Now, she lives, lives in Richmond. Yeah. And I'm going to tell her, say, if she goes to the factory and can get in the cup and see, tell her, buy me something, bring them in, I'll pay her. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, nice. Yeah. Is that pretty good? Yes, ma'am. Cutting fat, cutting fat, you see, when them, the blue cutting all done open and the cutting, the ball all done open, that cutting just as wide as can be, and then you got to take that ball off the straw, you know, and pick that cut, then, don't you know they used to have gyms here in our neighborhood? Is yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. They have, they have their gyms and they would have put that cotton on in them, that thing, and they turn it over like that, and that the seed would come out on one side and the cotton on the other. Now, people used to put a bed clothes. You used to make the batten. Yeah. Batten to go in the quilt. Yeah. But now they don't have it here now. Don't get no battens now. Buying the quilt, you know the quilt all. Yeah. Ah, made with this.
Mrs. Williams, Norfolk, Virginia, circa 1937.
Sarah Ashton Brooks, Albemarle County, Virginia, 1934. Oh, Sarah Brooks, uh, my mother is uh, Sally, is 93 years old, the 2nd of um, October. And she lives with me. She's a mother of 13 children, five, five living. Mm -hmm. I'm an old girl. She lives with me. Mm -hmm. Oh, she has three, um, no, four boys. Yeah, Nelson is one, Tom, Tom, Douglas, and, and uh, Richard. Five. Oh, yeah, she has uh, okay, I think Kansas, but 25 grandchildren, I would say. And uh, 10 great grandchildren. No, no, no. They all live up north. I don't know. They work up north. Get no reason. <laughs> 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 some married and some single. And you want to be beyond great grandchildren? No, no. No great great grandchildren. No. <laughs> Great grandchild, uh, Albert uh, Penn, his oldest great grandchild. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He lives in uh, Philadelphia. Her grand oldest grandson. Sally Aston, Virginia, 1934. Yeah, I was thinking, yeah. You know, I didn't long put me in the field. And, uh, she would catch the bottom, back of mine, you know. Get them off the back, huh? And I was afraid of them. Give him a finger, bigger. I'm going to catch him. My head back, but he's going to bite me. He's going to go over the seal. He's going to have over the seal, then over. Uh, and if you don't catch it, you have to find a worm behind me. I really must find him. That's why he found him. I'll catch another one behind you, I'm going to make you bite your head off. And I'm afraid. He didn't have to bite your head off. And then they look all in the back of the field, in the wheat field. I did, didn't have shoes like you have now, you know. I she used to uh, have about eight horses there, the fresh wheat. And if they fresh about three weeks, would get through the crop. It's so much, you know, and old fashioned way in making. And me and the other girls, 
the cat tickled me great turns of wheat, you know, bone, put them on the table. The man who put it in the, in the, uh, the drum, he dragged two over from us and he put in the uh, first to heat out and he'd go down from the scissors to him like that. They all tell him, put the hook to him. Fan! Some, some things come to me. It's an old fan. Sit a few ladies and put on and come out just with me. That was the fashion we were thrashing a wheat. Pitch horses to it and we sent down the horses broke loose. We had to run and catch the old thing, you know. And they was used to call them them time. And we had to swing back, children, men and all, swing back, keep the thing from running over on the horses to, to break his leg. What was my Cook. Cook all the time. How you cook? How you cook? Cook about five plates. I had no stove. And had these, uh, for so many hands, you know, about a hundred hands, and even had skeletons. Had a great old brick oven. This old brick oven, you know, you mix the bell fire in it. Make it very red hot. Put the bear on pan. Do you know, do you know what these pans were? You used to get old black tops, old thing, and open them and put the bread on there and put them back in there while this thing was red hot, while this old brick oven was red hot. And that way it's bigger than the big old pot on the, on the fire pit, very long, fire pit, long, and still here you had racks. Racks, you know, hang the pots up on them. You had no stove. Put the bread on the ham and meat and little fuel or something in there. Pull it out and show it back over the fire. Put it back over the fire and let it sit down. Put that out and cut it up for a hundred hands. And get this bread out of the oven and let me feed it. Where did you used to work for? Hand cars. Only about a hundred servants more. Did you know that? Sarah Garner, Virginia. 1935. <laughs> Because if we didn't do, he was at the limit of the river. And that was good. Did he ever get the same again? Yes, he took the same Did he get you with it? Yes, he did. Why? Yes, he went to the zoo. Well, I was young. And uh, when I first went to the zoo, and uh, he would pass me to heaven now. You know, one thing that said was six to ten rows, six to ten rows, you know how they go. Well, you know, six rows from then, from the end of that house, out of that grain that greenery, six rows of them from me to work a day, but I was just 14 years old. You know, that was just a great smart thing, just as bad as it could be. I had to work in the in the tent and wait on a sick woman. Well, I had to do it. If I couldn't get that task done, he cast me. And if I couldn't get it done, well, I couldn't. Did you like the underwear? Did you like that? Yeah. No, he cast me. No, he cast me. No, he cast me. No, he cast me. No, he I thought the best I could was as hard as I could. You know, so I said, well, then, uh, man, with many days, with a man of the good doing and I was doing it. Where were you born? I was born in a place called Skibitina, or Corova, in Western Canada. It's a German English here. It's a German English here. It's a German English here for me. But it's too young in this place. It's over the big show of the other. Where was your mother born? 
My mother was born here. My mother was born here. My mother was My mother was born here. 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 And she married a man by the name of Iron Gaskin. That made me a Gaskin before I married the Revolt. Yeah, I could do as much of it 
Les animés, avec une longue vie, une longue jambe, une longue vie, 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 Last calls come in. When you come to pick, you just pick the room where it's just a little flood and open the room and draft it on it and come down with about four and keep it up. And sometimes when you didn't keep it with the hole, deep crack, when you didn't keep it with the hole, they took it out. When team did it, I don't say they had so many of them. I don't know how many they had. My master had mostly the one power. So now, I think that was. And that was made by the, at the shop. That's how it was made at the shop. And uh, the house, all the land was there. Everything was there. The house was not a house. And I remember, but I didn't hire them to do that. I didn't have to hire that down in the house of Brooklyn. Before I had given it to her with that, that was a big guy, that was made behind me. That was made that I had written to him to stand. That was 12. I had nine of the very nine. So if you got a child, five of them ready, I had no man to teach you no more. So you know. So you know how long it was old enough to be finished when you went up.
Some of them um, sometimes. One of them been here. There's been one here this year. Has he been here? So, has he been here for six, six, six years, I think. He's been here since the Queen Father died. And it's from the Yes, I've asked him a great many things. Well, I've been here with him. Oh, yes. Yep. Oh, I don't know what he's talking about. Yes, he's a real family of life. He's a good guy. I have to write him up there. I have to write him up there. And so I begin to think of the garden and his farm. He likes trucking like I used to do here. And then I want to come back home where well, I found the kid. This is the phone to the kid this year. He would come down here and be a couple of weeks and be a couple of weeks in the house. Then we gave him one with the longest cougar. We had to come and leave it here. And so the old man turned on me.
other world in which I was driven to the bad little world and then Susanna Rebecca Wright Thompson, Oldham's, Virginia, 1935. <laughs> He left the ice house. He went with any hard like he used to be in time, back. Sir? Yes, I was about to put in the ice house. I put in the ice house, and when you put the ice in the ice house, you put, you, you put, you put the straw and thing over. Straw. Straw keep ice. Yes, I had ice house, I was dug deep. And put the ice down in the uh, and put and put and put straw over the, and 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 this is the other thing to keep it cool. Straw dust will keep ice too. We have so we have so many here. We have so many, so many close here now. Yes, we have so many. Some of them look after some of them. Some of them suffer mighty bad. Some of them look after them. Some of them. How do you and your mother get along? No, you get along all right, but he's not going to leave him. He's going to get on so much and so much. He's ready to take this care of him. He's going to get on with him. on down here to eat. He's going to get on down to own London. Where's your mother going? On that lemon. Yes, sir. Yeah, now, yes, yeah, that's down there from the head. Now, yeah. I was born on lemon, on the old little place. Lemon, lemon. Your mother born there, too? Mm -hmm. I, I think my mother was born. Yeah. Or did your mother come from way off somewhere? No, that she didn't come way off. Long thing. I'm you don't know where her father and mother came from. Yes, I know where my mother's father came from. 
came from my mother's father. I think my mother's father was, was, was young. To, well, it was not. I think she, my mother's father, I think he was in the church. I think he was longer over than me. Longer than me? Over than me. The one that owned so much down the head. What was his name? Oh, his name will be the old Lord, you can call them. That was your grandfather? No, I ain't even talking about I'm talking about my mother, my mother. My mother's a monster, I'm talking about. And what about your mother's father, your mother's daddy? Your mother's father? Yeah, your mother's father. 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 Your mother's Yes, sir. I think he was going to lose him. Mm -hmm. He was born there? Yes, it's known as him. Anyway, he's going to lose him. And your mother's mother, what about her? Yes, yeah, she, she was going to lose him. Oh, okay. My mother? Your mother's mother, her mother. Uh, my mother's name is Mariah Travis. What was her mother? Yes. Yeah. So your old mother was named Mariah Travis. No, my mother's mother was named Mariah Travis. I see. I see. What was your old mother's name? My mother's name. Yeah. My mother was named, she married a man, who belonged to another man. And she, and he was named, named Pat, uh, uh, Pat Gray. Pat Gray. Huh? <laughs> it took a lot of time for it to be a to know what to do with it. Something about summer, something about summer, and something about something about all, about all getting all, and something about getting all. And, and then while getting all, it holds back from you. How well, can you get it? Huh? I don't know. I think that's the next word. There's us to keep it this all the time. I reckon it could be like that with their toilet. Some, some in the world now, and you can hold some other. Some, some, some you can hold and some you can not. Seems like things are getting a little better on my way up out tomorrow. I wonder if it's going to get any better with you. I don't know. 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 Time to be the devil's bondage because the Savior comes. When he comes, it's better not to think that the Lord is going to be saved. The Lord is going to be Lord comes and sees everything to grind up. See? He doesn't get the soul in it. Who's going to have a hug if didn't have peace? Uh, <laughs>
Uh, so, uh, war, the first war, remember that? And then the men of the South wanted them come and go. Uh, I don't remember why. Yeah? I don't remember why. Yeah, I remember the war. Well, what do you think is worse? The hard times after this war or the hard times after the first war? The hard times from men start from the first war. The hard times start from the very first war. Kept on growing till the God was. Hard times start from the first war. Of course, it's only like it is now. Have you got it? Yes, sir, now it's hard. Well, now here, now they never know it. What's the trouble? Sir? Well, of course, it's, well, it's, it's so much people. There's so much people in the world. Pilgrim one another, doing every kind of thing. More, the more people who are the worse to go. Well, it still seems like there ought to be enough food for all this body of work. Yeah, you see, you can't have enough food for you. I mean, there's so many to have, someone all, all hitting hit at one thing. Yeah. Two be a tone for that. But you see, some have, some have, some have, uh, some have, uh, have none, and some have all. That's what do it. Some get no. Meat, buy the meat, and then keep the meat, skin the meat, and that's where they bake the meat. And then have them put them crown things to the great full fire in the kitchen, and then turn them things as big as cook the meat and uh, bake it. You got skin it, though, buy it. Buy it in the pot. Buy, buy the meat in the pot. And then you see the old red pots, you know, pot fire, you can have seen any big pots, red pots, iron pots, iron pots. You've never seen them before? You see, if you buy the meat in the iron pots, and then stick the meat over there, get down and skin it. And then now, now I'll put it to the cold fire in the kitchen, and now I'm turning them, 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 them iron, you see, them uh, hand iron, mostly hand iron, but see, they didn't exactly like and turn them into a bacon with me. Bacon. And if you skin it, and if you boil it. That's what you do to dine there. Do you make nice soap? No, I don't make no soap in my life, but my sister, my sister used to make soap. Uh, I never made none. How did you do that? You put your hand in the middle of the cold. Why are you so hungry? You put your hand in the middle of the Some working in the field, and some in the, uh, kittens working, and some working in the field. That's where it was. That's the use. That, 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 that you doing one thing, and 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 others doing doing one thing, and you doing another. All didn't work together. You work in the field. Yes, yeah, all you work in the field. Half the people in there working with the hole. They didn't have machinery. Huh? They didn't have machinery. Yes, they had machinery, color waivers, color waivers, and clothes and things like that. But the team, and the team, but still you would. Go back? No, we didn't go back. I know people did go back. What did they do with the farm? Yeah, you just let you do now. You just use the phone. Live off it. 
corn and wheat. Where are you going to live? You're living, living just like you live now, off yeah. corn and wheat. Yeah. Yeah, he's grinding here, he's grinding here. He's milled, he's milled. He's grinding milled. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't sell the corn. Sure, didn't sell it. No, sir, no, sir. He didn't sow the corn. He plant the corn. He has here tissue. Whatever he plant the corn. He had the corn like this. See? For part, for part. So it was cultivated. He had the corn, the corn like this. A hill here, here, and a hill here. That's where he had the corn. Did you grow beans in the middle No. Between the corn, between the hills. Grow any kind of mother? Yeah. Grow any kind of mother? Foundation, the back, back, back time. That's the foundation. 
some places just, just like that in the world now. Some like and some don't. Some like the way and some don't like the way. But the way is the way. And that is the truth. The way is the way. You say no when you, you generate and born again into the Lord Jesus Christ. As, as he's with you, when he picks you, you certainly know. Because he says, don't leave his work for the care of the finish. When God picks you, you know he's got over you. Yes, I do. For go to the church. Brown as a bearder. What color was it? 
See me? Yeah. Well, it was the brown. See, it was the, the toast brown, you see. And all of them sitting underneath it. All of them sitting underneath and he turned that thing them down, them down, them my hand on, let the leg hand on, but then they won't just let them. But see, you could turn them, turn them hand on, the pound them, and bake your meat, you switch yourself. And then they were all them sitting on the meat, on the meat, your, your meat or take it, whatever it is. Take your hand meat. That's what you can do, you can try and play. They back down and play it down. Unidentified former slaves, Petersburg, Virginia, circa 1937. Thank you. 